All right, I told you the I'm Coming Everywhere world tour was actually going to take place at places all over the world, and I didn't lie. I'm coming to Australia and New Zealand. The presale starts Wednesday, May 25th at noon local time. The presale code word is Tommy, T O M M Y. General on sale starts the next day, Thursday, the 26th at noon local time. Go to tomsegura.com slash tour for tickets. Now he's a big fucking star again. You want to play that game, you can play that game. Props to Blake Shelton, he's cashing in, but that's not the game I want to fucking play, you know? Yeah. It's all insider fucking shit, so. You want real shit, listen to Wheeler. You want corporate dog shit, Blake Shelton's your guy. <laughs> Props to Blake. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome to your mom's house. This episode of Your Mom's House is brought to you by Sattva. Go to sattva.com, S-A-A-T-V-A.com slash the shit and get $200 off any mattress of your choice. I endorse all of them because I've had all of them. And anytime they release a, release a new one, I'm going to get that one too because they're just that amazing. We have them in every bedroom in the house. I have the luxury firm one. I have the, that's their flagship model. I have the memory foam one, which they make from their line called Loom and Leaf. I have the Solaire that moves up and down and has a zero gravity setting and then vibrates if you want to just like zone out and fall asleep. They're all great. And the best thing is there's no middleman. So they pass those savings on to you. Normally, you know, you buy a mattress, you got to help pay for the overhead of the storefront and the salespeople and the commissions and keeping the lights on. You don't get that. You get a great top tier product from Sattva and you don't have to break the bank. Sattva, S-A-A-T-V-A dot com slash the shit. Get $200 off any mattress of your choice. And action. Act. We are back. Uh, welcome to another episode of your mom's house. She's Chris Jean P. I'm Tom. You, um... You apologized, I think, as you should have last week to your fans. I'm so devastated that them down. that Touch My Camera Through the Fence didn't make it as the official title of my special. Yeah. It's a disappointment, but Mom Jeans is out now on Netflix. Yeah. It's, you know, it's a second Rave best reviews. title. Rave reviews. People love your special. They love it. And I've got the official uh, merch out, too, if you want to check that out yeah. on our website. You could say in a lot of ways that your special got the stamp on its forehead, you know? So that's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. Chomo stamp. Yeah. Um, yeah, there it I is. Would. There's all my cool stuff. I got some non-gender conforming infant one pieces. Yep. If you guys want those? I got some sweatbands, some cool ass tees. I got all kinds of shit on there, dude. It's so rad. You should get it. Get it. Get Don't that. Be stingy. Don't yeah. be stingy, Mark. Yeah. Um, so yeah, there you go. And then I feel, cool. I have something else coming out. Um, Amy Schumer's parental advisory. And on uh Netflix. Netflix in uh, June. It'll you did another out. set on Netflix. That's right. And this outfit's even more expensive you're, than the last. You're staying on the platform, as they as say. As they say. Um, you, more expensive? Yeah. So the the first one I invoiced Netflix was like, we've never spent this much. And I was like, wait until you see what I wear on Amy Schumer's show. This one had feathers, ostrich feathers that had to be dyed and individually placed. <laughs> I swear to God. How it's much? a fucking fortune. How dude. much was it? We'll bleep it. You really want to know? Yeah, I do want to know. What? Well, think about it though. But think about it. It's, Wait, you're serious? Yeah, it's Gucci. It was Gucci. It's a one of a kind. They paid that, or did we pay that? No, they paid it. Well, because my special's doing so well, Mom Jeans is like a hit. So they're like, what did well, they say about this bill? They didn't say anything. Uh, I don't know. Seth uh, has to tell me. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't care. I don't care. Look, ostrich feathers dyed bright color. I don't want to tell the color. And then the pants were Gucci as well. And I had them perfectly tailored. And then the shoes were designer. You know what? You just gave me a challenge. <laughs> you gave me a challenge. What are you going to do? I'm going to try to find the most expensive outfit I can find for well, my special. I think you should, sir. And I'm going to fight tooth and nail for them. To, <laughs> I'll be like, no, it has to be this. And they'll be like, yeah. this is $75,000. I'll be like, so? So I'm a star. Yeah, pay for it. I'm a star. And I, let me tell you something. It looks damn good. It does look damn good. And people, they love glamour. And I'm bringing glamour back to stand-up comedy. Hmm. I'm bringing glam. We should bring glamour back. Glamour. Yeah, we're fucking uh, star comedians. There you go. I don't want to look like the woman next door. No one wants to pay to see the broad next door. Let's see it. Let's see it, Netflix. How big a load I'm going to swallow. Oh, it's going to be good. 
Uh, that is <laughs> that is an astonishing Thank amount you. of money for for seven minutes of stand up on Amy I mean, Schumer's special. I'm fucking <laughs> floored, and they approved. Yeah, or you said you don't know. Well, I, I initially I got a budget, okay? okay, and they know that my budget's a little higher than the average dude comic. For sure. With mom jeans, they knew what I was capable of. Plus, don't forget, I have a hair and makeup team. Yeah, I have yeah. a style. I have everything. Yeah. So they knew. So I, I did get a nice budget. Okay. <laughs> this is insane. Well, well, let me let me ask you this. Is let that, me ask you this. Can, can you, you kick, kick my, my ass? ass? Go ahead. Here's the deal. Here's the deal, man. Okay. All these comics on the platform are usually, let's face it, unattractive dudes. Yeah. So and I'm, they don't even I'm a, try. They don't even try. You guys listen. Men are very limited in their fashion. I'm very. I try to tell now, and I mean, I'm. It, it took me a while to put it together too, but I try to tell young comics that are going to record or shoot something for the first time. I'm like, dude, spend the money on at least look something good. nice. Yeah, it's going to be up there for a long time. That's you want the it to, thing. You want it to look good. It lasts forever on that yeah. platform, and if you look, listen. I've done enough stuff on television where I've looked like shit. Yeah. And then you watch yourself and you're like, fuck, fuck. why did I wear that? Yeah. Why did I look like an asshole? Yeah. And I never trust their The main own thing is you never. should try. Try. Always try. Yeah. Don't yeah. look like a piece of shit. Yeah. You, you know why too? Another thing is people invest their time in you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And they want they want to look at something nice. Yes. Yeah. I'm an yes. entertainer, goddamn. I remember when I used to do stand up um, just locally. This is like years before shooting anything where I was like, really embracing looking shitty I'd yeah like, oh, I this shirt has too. a hole in it i'll wear this <laughs> and one of my friends was like you know people are looking up at you on stage. <laughs> yeah like you should try to look nicer than them yeah you know so that they enjoy looking up and you don't yeah. have to go that far with it but you know you should try to look decent you're performing you know and for so long i thought because i was a, i'm a woman in this business and that if I played up my looks that I wouldn't be respected oh, for right. what I was saying. So you're pushed out against it. Yeah. Well, so for so many years I dressed down because I wanted to be respected for my mind. And then I realized I don't give a fuck. Yeah. No one no one cares. No one cares about you yeah. in, in general. Right. And so what if I had played up my looks and I could still have talent? I don't know. Yeah. I don't care. Yeah. Now I, don't, I just don't give a shit and I'm bored. I'm middle-aged. I'm going to die. One day I'm going to die and who gives a fuck? You don't like me? Suck my tits, you know? Yeah. In the meantime, I, here's something nice to look at. Yeah. Expensive outfit. Yeah, looks good. Looks good. Hey. Oh. All right. Well, you want to start the show? I got Let's cool start the you. show. I'm ready. Right, here we go. My name is Thomas Meyer, and I'm 41, and I'm looking for a woman who will be my hun. Mm. I'm looking for a woman I can love all my life, a woman who will agree to be my wife. Who? This shit is big time. Who is Randy? Don't bring anyone mother into this. Your mom in the fucking stand! Welcome. Welcome to your mom's house. Yeah, meow, yeah, yeah, With yeah. Tom Segura. Tom Segura. And Christina Pajitsin. Christina Pajitsin. Welcome uh, to your mom's house. Ma, 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 ma. Good look. It's not Try bad, it. actually. It's not bad. Like it. Yeah. Um, I like that. I think guy. it's a kind of interesting angle. A lot of times, guys <laughs> who say I'm looking for someone just like <laughs> stare at the camera. At least he put like some music. You know, he he, yeah. he wrote a song. Yeah. A short song. Yeah. When I goes this way, when I goes that way, I like watch him. Um, yeah. Um, but you know, he's putting it out there. Yeah, I, f I found this dude, and I was charmed by him. I was taken with him. Yeah. I and... like that he put that effort into it. You never know. He probably found his lady from that. I, I'm. I don't know. <laughs> I like to have a lady, and he's not gross, right? He's not like sit on my face. Oh, and right, like right. your ass. And yeah, yeah. I'm he's looking for a woman I can love all my life. Yeah. He's looking for a woman, so that's nice. He's that's like nice. not underaged girls. Right. And he's not like I'm looking for pussy right yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah. It's respectful. It's got a nice cadence. Yeah. A woman who will agree to be my wife. He wants a wife. He wants a wife. Commitment. He's looking for love. He's looking for a real deal. Yeah. 
Yeah, mm-hmm. I admire it. Could have been worse. Could have been worse. <laughs> <laughs> That's about what my review for this video is. Could have been a lot worse. Okay, could have been worse. Yeah. My I don't want to look at him though. See your tits. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, what would your raps be? <laughs> Something like that. I'm going to lay down here and watch you piss. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. You know? That's nice. Break. Do you was know that? that's from? No. No. Lambda, 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 and Omega Moose. Ah, Revenge of the Nerds. Revenge of the Nerds, yes. Um, which reminds me, though, I don't think we've talked about on the show that not long ago you were stuck in an elevator. Yeah. Um, yeah. And was that It's terrifying? wild. Or no? So, so here's much. here's the deal, man. First of all, it's a dental update. So let's, I think, can we, may I start with a dental update? Sure. And then the dental update rolls into this. It's kind of a neat thing. That's a, a very interesting way of putting it. Yeah. This music is so captivating. Yeah. I love it. We haven't done these in a while. I know. Okay, so here's what happened. Tell me what happened, yeah. Um, as you know, I haven't had many dental updates because I get my teeth cleaned every six months like clockwork. Even during the pandy, I got my teeth cleaned. So I take care of my chompers. There are no cavities involved. Nice. So I went to get my cleaning and the lady goes, I mean, I get rave reviews. She's like, you clearly use an electric electric toothbrush. And I was like, I do. Thank you for noticing. And she's like, you clearly use flossers. Thank you. Yes. And she's like, great work. Great work. No blood. No (laughs) blood. They're cleaning. And then the dentist I thought was lying to me because six months prior, she goes, oh, I took your x-rays. You've got a cracked tooth in the back. It's going to need a new crown. And I was like, fuck out of here, lady. I know you're trying to scam me. This ain't my first rodeo. Yeah, you fucking bitch. You you see me. You see my million dollar outfits on Netflix. I know you, bitch. So I ignore her. Yeah. Well, I came back and she's like, okay, so do you want to see the crack? And I was like, yeah, okay, show me this crack. Yo, it's a legit crack in the back, back, back molar. And the cat, the filling that I've had for like twenty years is now eroding, so it's starting to form a nice cavity. So you're gonna get a, a crown. crown put on it, hopefully before it turns into a root canal oh. and crown. Oof. So I'm gonna get that done, um, actually, to well in a few days, and then a crown, which sucks, dude, because we're always traveling. You know how that shit never fits. Like they yeah. put it in, and you're like, dude, I can't fucking close my teeth. Like, and then I'm gonna yeah. have to go back, and it's gonna be a whole thing. So. That's my dental update. And then I get into the elevator. It's only, <laughs> I go from the second floor to the first floor. And it was, there was a storm that day. Oh, yeah. And there are big old storms they're, here in Texas. That's right, Tom. Yeah. So I get in the elevator and I hear thunder. I mean, kabow, yeah, right? Yeah. And then I was like, oh, that's weird. And I thought, that's fine. I'm not moving anymore. I'm not moving anymore. And, um, and I was like, okay, I'll push the button, ding, 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 nothing happens. And so I um, I hit the emergency button. Mm-hmm. And of course, it's a Southern lady. She's like, hello. And I'm like, um, I'm stuck in an elevator. Okay, well, I'll call emergency services. Y'all just, think, can you push all the buttons? I was like, yeah, bitch. Yeah, of course, I've I fucking that. pushed all the yeah. buttons, you stupid whore. Can you push the open button? Yeah, you think I didn't fucking try that, stupid? I didn't try the open button. I yeah, tried you- keep it closed button. <laughs> And she's like, I'll call emergency service. I always have that panic thought whenever I get in an elevator in a hotel and I really have to piss or shit. Oh, I'm like, yeah. oh, if this stops right now, yeah. I'm shitting in this elevator. Yeah, and that's what yeah. I had to do. I had to go pee pee. And I, yeah. I mistakenly thought I could hold it because I was going somewhere else after. Sure. So, of course, I got to take a piss. That's like the worst part. But I was alone. Thank God. Yeah. Could have been way worse. Could have yeah. been with someone. A group. Or talk, yeah, talking to somebody. Or some guy who you don't suspect oh, is like, no. I got to shit real bad. <laughs> And I got about 30 seconds if this doesn't open. Oh, my. Can you imagine? <laughs> what would happen is the guy would shit and then everyone would puke, you know? <laughs> and then you would want to not puke, but you'd see and smell all the puke and then you start puking. Yeah, because what if you had to shit in the oh elevator? Oh, my God. Would you just shit in the elevator? I don't know. I mean, I think you'd shut it down as hard as you could and then there's a breaking point. Yeah, you'd be a diarrhea. Like, I just I've had... had it where you get on an elevator and you're like, um, you know, you're like, if this thing stops right now. I'm screwed. Because I just had Zanku chicken when I was in California. And I ate it, and I diarrheaed within minutes. Minutes. So I was like, "That yeah. would not hold in an." That's elevator. why they make Zanku chicken. To t- <laughs> it's to cleanse, cleanse, cleanse your your GI tract. Yeah. That's why it's so healthy. Yeah. So I I do have a minute of panic, right? Where I'm like, yeah. "Oh shit, dude! I could be stuck in here forever." And this is the South. Everything moves at a fucking glacial pace. Yeah. Because she calls me, and then finally I'm like, "Okay," and then the and then another guy calls me. He goes, "Well, I'm gonna call the uh, maintenance guy." I'm like, "You're not the maintenance guy. Let's go, dude." Yeah. 
So finally, so I decided to get on Instagram Live because I'm so bored. And I know I'm not going to die in there. I just yeah. thought it would be funny. And luckily, you're on the first floor. Yeah, I had it's made it. It's different than like if, you're, made if your elevator stuck on 60 or something. Oh, you know, my like God. A tower, you're like, um. I didn't, but I didn't know how far I'd gone down. I sure. didn't know if I was on two or one. And anyway, I, I, you can see it. It's on my profile what I happens to me the whole time. I tried to pry the door open with a toothbrush they gave me. That pry didn't the door. Work. Oh. Okay. You want to try it? Here I am. I've seen that before in movies, right? Because if I'm stuck in between floors, then I can pry the door. I'm going to fucking punk rock this. That didn't work. It's moving. It is moving. And so it opened like an inch. And then I got my fingers stuck in it, and the door slammed on my okay, fingers. Okay, I got a toothbrush. Uh, oh, nope, that's not working. Okay, I'm gonna try this again. 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 Okay, I'm gonna try and then they tell you we're calling what the okay so then finally after the third call you know how fucking yeah. r worded and then finally they go well we can have somebody pry open the doors we can call the fire department we don't normally do that anymore but we can i was like yeah, yeah dude call it. the fire department and then you're like firemen are coming exactly yeah. and you're like you started to brush your hair <laughs> Yeah, like, these are gonna be some cuties. Well, because every time we've called the fire department, yeah. they show up and they're hotties, and yeah. I want to look good. I look like shit at the beginning of the video. But by the end, I look really nice. You started to. I started to doll up. <laughs> you put lipstick. On I put lipstick too. on. I put on my rouge. I look nice when yeah. the guy comes. Yeah. And I got rescued. He was a cute. He was a cutie. Yeah. And you were like, "Oh, hey, you're cute." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you're like, "Why don't we try to get back in this elevator and see if it gets stuck again?" <laughs> Would you have done that? No. What if you get stuck in the elevator with like, you know, a hottie, and a hottie. and you're on the 80th floor and you're gonna die? Yeah. And then what? Do I have permission to have sex with a dude if I'm gonna die? Would yeah. you be mad? No. Go for it. Don't lie. Go for it. I mean, what are they gonna do? They're like, well, we found these bodies parts. It looks like <laughs> I don't know. Kind of looks like his dick was stuck in her when they died. I mean, what am I gonna do? I'm not, not gonna, gonna tell the boys. No. No. But would you? Hey, your whore mom died today. <laughs> but you wouldn't be upset that the last thing on earth I did was have sex with another man. Listen, I, <laughs> I give you permission. Wow. Well, yeah. I don't give you permission. Okay. You can J or D to her. Oh my god! But you can't stand in the corner of the elevator and jack off. <laughs> yeah, you're not going to get arrested because you're going to die. Yeah, I know. Sweaty sack summer is approaching, and it's time for you to prioritize the comfort of your crotch. That's why the kings of crotch comfort, Manscaped, have spent two years designing the most comfortable boxer briefs out there. I've had the honor of testing out these new boxers and I can say it's the softest fabric of any underwear. So breathable, that it's like gills for your groin. They even trademarked the jewel pouch so you know it's serious. I think it's time you invest in your family jewels. So let your bulge breathe and get 20% off plus free shipping by using the code MOM at manscaped.com. Buying the right boxers is a big deal i've had disaster ones i've had ones where you know it feels like like sheer wool like you might as well just have metal boxers on i've had ones that tear probably from all the scratching but i've also just had ones that just don't feel right the micro medal fabric is buttery soft and breathable keeping your cucumber cool walk run strut these moisture wicking boxers breathe without breaking a sweat the tagless waistband, that's a big deal, hugs your body without digging in and then it lays flat against your skin to reduce chafing. Get 20% off plus free shipping with the code MOM at manscaped.com. That's 20% off plus free shipping with the code MOM at manscaped.com. Once the Boxers 2.0 touch your sack, you'll never go back. Hey man, I don't have time to waste. Who's got time to waste? And when you're running a small business, every second counts. You can't afford to waste a single moment. So why are you still taking time out of your day to go to the post office when you could be using stamps.com instead? I'm telling you, stamps.com makes mailing and shipping quick, easy, and cost-effective. With stamps.com, you save time, money, and not to mention stress. 
For more than 20 years, Stamps.com has been indispensable for over 1 million businesses. Stamps.com gives you access to all the post office and UPS shipping services that you need right from your computer. And you get discounts you can't find anywhere, like up to 30% off USPS rates and 86% off of UPS. Stop wasting time and start saving money when you use stamps.com to mail and ship. Sign up at stamps.com slash mom for a special offer that includes a four-week trial plus free postage and a digital scale. No long-term commitments or contracts. Just go to stamps.com slash mom. Speaking of J and your D. Oh, yeah. This is pretty cool. Your story was cool. My story is way cooler. I know. What the fuck, dude? What have you been up to? Um, I was on a flight, and I don't know. Flights always give me boners. Like, they always give me boners. Okay, I always get worked up on flights. Okay. I don't know what it is. It's, it's been like this for years. Is it the excitement, the adrenaline of flight? I don't know what it is. But <laughs> I'm sitting there, I'm on the flight, and I'm fully <laughs> aroused. And I'm like, man. And I just go like, I've tried before, and I always go like, huh. like you know, I'm in the bathroom. You've tried in public, like on a, a commercial flight to yeah. J or D? Yeah. In yeah. your seat or in the bathroom? Well, I don't know. In the bathroom. Yeah, it's but it's smelly in there usually. Yeah, and it's Doesn't just like, good. I don't know, you just kind of like someone checks the door and you're like, oh, and I just, you know. Yeah, you got to get in your head yeah. in the moment. This time, I went back there, Yeah. cranked one out. <laughs> now, hold on. Did, was there anyone else on the plane with you? Yeah. Did you tell them, I'm going to go crank one out? No. And did you tell them after? Yeah. And what was their reaction? What the fuck, man? <laughs> <laughs> Was it a lot of people, a lot of dudes? Not a lot. Okay. So let's talk logistics here. Yeah, okay. So a lot of people have not been on a private jet. Could you describe the bathroom sitch in a, in a private jet? Um, this one was, uh, you know, comfortable. It wasn't enormous, but it was a, it was a comfortable space. So, but and they're not dissimilar from commercial. A little dissimilar in that they're, they're, it is a little more comfortable. There's a window so you can look out at the clouds as you're jacking off. You're like, oh, oh, oh like, there's the mountains. Oh, there's another plane. Like that. Yeah. And so you sat on the toilet. To no, I stood cover. up. You can stand in J or D? Yeah. And what did you finish into? The toilet. You jade into the toilet yeah. on top of your brown? No, I didn't brown. Oh, okay. I was going to say that was really gnarly. Yeah. Did you pee first? No. You just went in there to J or D? Yeah, that was the whole mission. And then you finished. I got up and walked to the back. I was like, I'm going to try this right now. Wow. You must have been really keyed up. I was keyed up, really keyed up. And yeah. by the way, I was elated afterwards. <laughs> I was like relieved and happy. I, was like, I bet. Very cool. Yeah. I bet. Yeah. That's cool. So is this going to be part of your repertoire? Like, I don't think so. I think it was kind of like just an experience. Like urgent. It was urgent. Yeah. I was backed up, you know? Yeah. No, yeah. we... We've been apart for a minute and we were so sick and Yeah, I was just like, I gotta do this. It was a while ago though. It was a while yeah, ago. Yeah. It's neat. Yeah. I, I, I saw it on a vlog. Yeah. Like, it I, was a while ago. A second of it. You're like, Hey, Jade my D on this front on this flight. I was like, wait, what, 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 what Yeah, you hit me you were like, What? What was that? <laughs> and I was like, Well, you know. That's life. I don't know what to tell you. That's life. I think um Rob Eiler uh Jade his D on a commercial flight he talked about it once on yeah. pajama pants it's, a, it's definitely more intense because there's you know there's potentially crunch. somebody opening the door yeah. yeah yeah and they can force open it you know they like, can well they can uh any any commercial bathroom on a flight can be opened from i didn't outside. know that sure how did you find that out you see the flight attendants unlock it every time when a flight starts you know they'll lock oh it God. and then they'll unlock it I didn't realize yeah yeah. Dang. So like you know, it jiggles and like that's probably a rush for some people. Like that's what they're into. That's what the whole fun but, is. But um, yeah. to me, that that's not uh, an assist. Yeah. You know. Yeah. No, I, I don't. I wouldn't want to masturbate like under the gun. Either. Yeah. Someone's like, "Are you gonna come?" And you're like, "I'm just. I'm trying." <laughs> Hurry up! Come! Come on, man! <laughs> I gotta come too. Come on. I'm sitting there. But I the, imagine that in is that bathroom sweating like a like a black man. That, you know. Yeah, I know, Tom. Yeah, I imagine. That's so cool. What a neat thing. Mm -mm. We both had real fun experiences. Cool, fun stories. Um, I discovered a new hotel trick, by okay. the way. Um, um, I went to, to Los Angeles to do shows and stuff. And I don't know, do you do this when you have hotel bed? Do you eat on your hotel bed? 
Like, I eat in my hotel like I room? eat. I usually get two beds: one eating bed and then one sleeping bed. I'm not. I'm not a big eater in in bed in hotels. Period. Yeah. What do you eat your meals? Oh, you mean if I get room service? Yeah. No, I I, I go to the table. <laughs> the the, the oh, room service table. Because I. Yeah, I'm checking something. Is that okay? What? I'm, I'm just waiting for you to be done checking. I'm done checking. Okay, so I usually get two beds, like I said, an eating bed and a sleeping bed. But this hotel only gave me one bed. And for years, I would just eat the room service or whatever Postmates, um, like where I sleep, and then just let the flavors and the juices fall into my bed. And then I would just sleep. You, I mean. <laughs> on the smells. It was Horrible. I gotta tell you, some I don't. I prefer you to keep this to yourself. This is so revolting. What is wrong with you? How would you eat that in I, bed? Because I wasn't raised like a person. I'm telling you, I was raised like a savage. I did not have a good upbringing, Tom. Do you notice that? Yeah. No one told me it was not okay. <laughs> so, Ugh. but I've come up with an excellent solution. So I ordered Korean food, which you know is my jam in LA, uh -huh. from a real fucking gnarly hole in the wall. Yeah. Like the kind where they put a newspaper at the bottom of the bag so that yeah. the juices don't split, you know, squirt out. Yeah. <clears throat> so could you, do you have the picture? I got it, yeah. So I finally figured out, I have a Pajitsky effect of I don't need to just eat the food in my bed. I can put a towel down yeah. and then put all my dirty Korean treats on top of it. It's not authentic. Cool <laughs> magazine there too. Well, that's what they gave me. It's like a Spanish Rihanna <laughs> That's so dumb, dude. That's so LA. I love it. When I was in um, San Francisco <laughs> with you and the boys a few weeks ago, uh, you yeah. ordered dim sum every morning mm -hmm. for breakfast. I love my Asian flavors. Yeah. I need flavor, homie. Yeah. I need flavor. I know, this dog. COVID, you know, 19 virus yeah, yeah, yeah. knocked out like half my taste buds. So yeah. I really can't taste American food. I need flavor. Yeah, you, you got it. By the way, I also found that I have the video of you getting rescued. I hear something. I hear something. Guys. Look at you. You got your glasses on, your hair is off. I was Instagram living, man. Show no, me. no, this is not how the video started. I hear it. They're prying me open. Oh, firemen. The firemen. Here. You can do it. It's so tough. Oh my God. Maybe I should stand up. I'm getting rescued. Oh, yay. Hi. Hi. See, he's cute. Yes. Nice to meet you. He's cute. He's cute. I was right. Hi, how's it going? Hi. Thank you for rescuing me. Yeah, you bet. Holy shit. Oh, my God. Mason. Guys. You guys can do Sorry, it anyway. I'm on Instagram Live. <laughs> I, I just thought I was born. Hi. Thank you so much. Are you a firefighter? No, I'm with the elevator company. Oh, is this? Um, yeah, on your way to death, you guys can do it. That's cool. Okay. But I don't really like normal white guys. Okay. Well, let, let, let's say they end up like this. Really cool Dominican guy. He's like, that would have been rad. Yeah. He's like, I'm on me at risk. You. I think we're going to die in this area. <laughs> and you're like, all right, just throw it in. He's like, yeah, okay. Yeah. Ma no, I mean, like, Mason is objectively cute. Yeah. But, but real I mean, in reality, not my jam. I know. You want to go to I like the DR. The dirty drug dealer with the dreads yeah. and the tats. Yeah. All this is new. Or yeah. the DR guy. Yeah. yeah. Dirty fucking DR guy. Yeah. Be great. Yeah, that's so funny. I almost dated a guy, a dirty D, uh, dr guy. Really? Um, uh, right after road rules, uh -huh. there was one swimming in my yard, like swimming hardcore, yeah. hard, putting on the hard moves, and I was like, I don't know, dude. Like, I'm not into players, you know. Like, oh, yeah. he was totally a player. Yeah, but I was like, yeah, I'm into you, dude. Yeah. Like, well, in the elevator, you don't have to worry about that because you're gonna die pretty quickly, you know. Yeah. There's no commitment. That's a is that a porno? I heard that's a porno thing to be stuck in an elevator. I'm sure. Yeah. Um let me go ahead and think about yeah, that probably exists. Yeah. Being stuck anywhere is a porno thing. <laughs> <You know? laughs> That'd be cool. The last Dominican guy on earth. Yeah. That's the name of the porno? Yeah. Or your fantasy? My last my last minute minutes on earth. I don't honestly I don't know if I spend them fucking. Like I'm not sure. Yeah, I think it's more of a fantasy in people's mind, but in reality you're like, I'm gonna die. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. 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 I don't well, think I'd really do that. Most people are probably not that horny in that situation, but some probably are. Well, I remember when nine eleven happened. Yeah. Remember that people said they felt really horny. Yeah. 
And I, I too felt horny, but I didn't bang my boyfriend at the time because we were on the outs. But I, I too felt that urge. Hmm. Uh, that day? Yeah. I don't remember. That, it was like so traumatic I and remember, overstimulating. You know, yeah, like, I think oh. because I was in one of the cities, um, I did not feel horny at all. I cried a lot. Oh, you cried? I was in D.C. Yeah. Pussy. Yeah, I was a real puss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. God, I didn't cry. Yeah. No. What's there? What's there to cry about? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Who's that? That's you. Is that my DR guy? Yeah. That's. Me. <laughs> yeah. I told you I did it, bang, because my boyfriend at the time and I we were on the outs. Yeah, you mentioned that. Yeah. And I we weren't actually having intercourse that much. I think at that point. Yeah. So. I'm trying to think. I and fucked. like he was weird. He wouldn't have fucked. He would have been like, "What? You're so messed up." Yeah. He wouldn't let me probably. Trying to think that I fucked. I probably fucked like two weeks later. You'd grieved enough. Yeah, I went out, and then then it was like it's like being in a war zone where like you saw the sunshine again. Yeah. So you were like, you know, like springtime. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. How did you fuck? Did you find? Did you pick up chicks in bars? Like I did. I did a couple times. Yeah. How did you do it? What was your? No, I was introduced to somebody at a bar, but it was at a bar. You're cute. You are such a handsome twenty-some man. I snapped you up just in time. You're the one. You were really adorable. Mm. You know, I kind of you were very confident for your age, and also like, but still like a puppy. You yeah. know, like still clumsy and kind of dopey, but but very mature. Like, it was Thank very you. endearing. So quite the compliment. You Thank got you. it. <laughs> yeah. Clumsy, dopey. Yeah, like <laughs> Danny Brown. Yeah. He's, he he was so funny last week on the yeah. show. God damn it, and my face hurt. Um, no, you were like so you were very mature, but then still young. So you had yeah. that youthful. I mean, I met you when I was twenty three. I know, and I was dating you at twenty five. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, dude, bro, broham. I'm gonna be forty six this year. I know it's fucking. It's too old for me. I um... is it time to move on? Are you breaking up with me? Well. I mean, are we talking second wife? Eh, it's normal. This is part of life, babe. This is part of life. Okay, who's your? Let's talk about it. Because last time we discussed this, I thought you'd go with the Dalmatian wife, the nah. yoga instructor. Well, who are you gonna? Who's the second wife? I don't know yet. I gotta go out there and meet people. <laughs> what? How old is she gonna be? Age appropriate. Well, then fuck off. Why are we divorcing? Just, I don't mean my age. I mean appropriate. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> so she's over 18, 18 Definitely 20. over 18. Are you out of your mind? She might even be like 27, 28. That's so old. Could you imagine fucking an 18-year-old right now? I would fucking ruin that You woman. would traumatize an 18-year-old. Yeah. Like, think yeah. about putting your grown man skills on like a... Yeah. And I'm not saying that I'm like some super skilled guy, but I'm I'm a pig enough where she'd be like, "What's happening?" Yeah, you know? yeah. That's why I love you. Yeah, but I, hair back, you know. <laughs> <laughs> My high school boyfriend didn't do this. <laughs> See, that's the best part is that high school boys don't do any of, of that. Of course. Although they might now because of pornography, they might know. Uh, but they're not doing it. But they're like not going to do it right. Correctly, yeah, yeah. Or with confidence, you know. Yeah. Like, I'll be like, trust me, this feels good. And she'll be like, what? <laughs> <laughs> she would just leave there like, like kind of lost. Be like, I forgot, I forgot my shoes. Fuck. <laughs> like, you would traumatize an 18 year old. She would so? need therapy. Yeah. Cause it, cause like when you think about it, there's a reason you stay age appropriate. Yeah. Cause you're at skill set level. Yeah, right. It's right. junior varsity, junior varsity, JV, JV, yeah. JV. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, then yeah. you kind of grow into varsity sex. Sure. Yeah. You can't that's so fucking crazy. Well, I know. Cause if I were if I put myself in my 18 year old self, oh my god. You put me like a 40 year old woman, same thing. I'd be like, what the fuck is happening right now? <laughs> <laughs> you know? Those, uh, those skills are something else. Well, on that note, let's take a yeah. quick break. Uh, oh, let me tell you this. Let me tell this you this. This show is sponsored by. Um, I will be 
in Columbus this Sunday, the 29th. Uh, we added a show um, uh, at, in Columbus, so uh, get tickets to that, tomsegar.com slash tour. Also, I've mentioned July 24th, I added a show at Ball Arena in Denver, Colorado. Again, tomsegar.com slash tour. Don't go to third party sites. Oh, good point. Don't pay the fucking <laughs> scalper fucking price. Get the regular tickets. Thank you. I love you. If someone relies on you financially, a child, a parent, or even a business partner, life insurance gives you peace of mind that they have a financial cushion if something happens to you. Policy Genius is your one-stop shop to find the insurance you need at the right price. Click the link in the description or head to policygenius.com slash mom to get started. In minutes, you can compare personalized quotes from top companies to find your lowest price. You could save 50% or more on life insurance by comparing quotes with Policy Genius. The licensed agents at Policy Genius are on hand through the entire process to help you understand your options and make decisions with confidence. The Policy Genius team works for you, not the insurance companies. Head to policygenius.com slash mom to get your free life insurance quotes and see how much you could save. All right. We are back and we are elated to welcome back <gasps> our guest. The new album, Sex, Drugs, and Country Music is available now. It's Wheeler Walker Jr. Everybody. Wheeler. Yeah. I love you guys. So happy to be back here. Thank you. Thank oh, you for Wheeler. coming, man. Happy happy to visit you guys in Texas. This is cool, yeah, man. Yeah. I was there from the... I remember you guys in a little little dumpy studio yeah. in, some, <laughs> in some back alley and yeah. fucking... Uh, uh, where was that? Redondo. You went, didn't you? Did he come to Redondo? I, I think remember. I did. I think I did go to like Redondo. our home. Right? Yeah. No, it was probably that um, that office. Yes. That I don't office. know. But I don't know. I went. But even something before that. But to, to see you guys build this fucking empire. Yeah. See Danny Brown in the hall. Like I know. It's like celebrities. Well, it's like it's, it's like the cool. old studio system. You yeah. Know? Yeah. Except funny. instead yeah. of instead of like you know Sony uh, being in charge. Instead of like you know Wizard of Oz characters, yeah. it's like Danny Brown. It's Danny Brown. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's pretty cool, man. And I, I, by the way, I just uh, I was shooting this thing a couple weeks ago. Oh, we didn't even talk about that. That's the thing. I'm oh, yeah. Um, but um, just just during that conversation, I was talking to somebody on. They're like, uh, "You ever listen? You like country at all?" And I was like, "Not really." And I go, "Well, I like real country." And they were like, "Like who?" And I was like, "Like Wheeler Walker Jr." <laughs> and they were like, "Who's that?" And I what? pulled up pulled up one of your videos, and they were like, "Hold on, who's this motherfucker? That I don't know. know who I am." <laughs> no, well, clearly they didn't know a real country. Danny Brown knew who the fuck I was. Of course, Danny Brown knew who you were. Um, no, but, but not, I'm happy that. to see you guys in this big giant. It's pretty cool in this new studio. It's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. it's a Garth sized. Yeah, this is Garth. Well, yeah. actually, it's crazy that you guys have this, and Garth still got what well, his little. Uh, He's still in the fucking Redondo shack. Yeah, yeah he's in yeah. inside Studio G. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, his his it's not impressive. You he's, know, he just played two nights at Nissan Stadium back in Nashville. Oh wow, that's where the Titans play, right? Yeah. Wow, that's wild. He had an earthquake, a Garthquake. There was a Garthquake in uh, in Baton Rouge. What it, it measured on the on the Richter scale. The, I didn't know about the Garth. What, what, what's a, what's a he had a he had a concert <laughs> and oh. the the noise was so loud that it registered as an earthquake. God, I've never been in a Garthquake before. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's pretty cool, man. Seismograph yeah. records. I want to, when, when do we get to the Wheeler Quake? How, how soon do I we get to the Wheeler It's already there. I, mean, I feel I mean, like you already have the, you have the goods to make it happen, you know? Yeah. The, the problem is they just don't let, they, they don't put the, the songs about, you know, eating pussy on the fucking radio i know stupid. thanks so to the stupid. fucking cancel culture right yeah, yeah. it fucking is man and i'll tell yeah. you what those are the songs that i want to hear that's why i showed this person i was like well this is the kind of music that you know that i want to listen to uh, um i don't want to hear about another um you know my heart broke and then my truck it's like i want to hear about some real shit like getting fucked up and eating pussy this is my new album it's got two songs with the t with the first ever album with two songs with the word beaver in it. Wow. That's pretty awesome. Beaver yeah. Fever and Beaver Town are both on wow. the ground. Wow. That's cool. And really, what could be more American and, and in line with Christian values than drinking and fucking? You guys heard my new single, God Told Me to Fuck You? Uh, wow. No. Oh, but it's, I like it's, it. it's, it's really good. God hey, Told Me to Fuck You? Yeah. Can you play a clip? Do, am you I allowed to just to. order things? Uh, sure. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. God Told Me to Fuck You. This yeah. is fantastic. Already. Yeah. That's pretty good. That's fucking wow. right. See, you've got your finger on the pulse. Um, Fuck yeah, I do. Wow. 
Oh, there's a video out on it. And this is my favorite. This is my, my favorite song I ever wrote. Really, the prettiest one I think. <laughs> That's I own, really pretty. That. Do you play that piano? No, I don't. <laughs> you are. <laughs> Babe, I know this is gonna sound crazy. Wow. Cause I ain't never been the kind to pray. But girl, you were right. The good Lord's amazing. Cause he came to me today in a very holy way. God told me to fuck you. God told me to lick your crotch. God told me to tell you to suck my dick. He told me he likes to watch. Please believe me, baby, it surprised me too. When God told me to fuck you. It's weird how into it I am. I mean, yeah, but it's a beautiful song. Thank you. I see that cross hanging round your neck. <laughs> and all it stands for, I respect. <laughs> Girl, I hope you get this text. Because <laughs> tonight I'm pretty bored. So let's listen to the Lord. God told me to fuck you. Wow. Wow. God told me to lick your crotch. God told me to tell you to suck my dick. He told me he likes to watch. <laughs> Please believe me, baby, it surprised me too. Man. Wow. God told me to fuck you. That's uh um, that thank you so yeah, much. That's really fucking awesome. I like that I can just name it, just yeah. yell a tune, they just start fucking. I mean, playing. yeah, they're fucking on top of it. It's, it's good that Nadav's not here. Oh um, my god. Yeah, you you did that quick. He's still at the Wailing Wall in uh in Israel. Right <laughs> By now. the way, so I got my people said before you get here, text this guy Nadav. Text I Nadav, I'm here. Text back, I'm not. Like, okay. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks yeah. for let Good talking to you, buddy. Yeah, yeah good. Yeah, oh, that's uh, that's right on. That's on par. He was, uh, yeah, he's on some mission trip and he's like growing fucking cucumbers in Israel what's right he, now. He's in Israel. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Well, I wanted. So, so what that text cost me? Probably oh. about seventy five bucks if he's in yeah. charge of it. I heard he's gotten. I heard he's gained weight back. And what we should have done oh, yeah. is weighed him before his trip. We definitely should have. I know. Is he seriously in Israel? Yeah. Yeah. Fighting? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. He's on a, a fucking uh, hummus tasting adventure. <laughs> hummus. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit, man. That sounds like fun. Yeah, that'd be pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, no. He's uh he's wrapping up his celebration of the crucifixion and he'll be back soon. I, and now I that know. you got this studio, you should sell that movie. Yeah, I know, right? Nadav is hummus tasting across <laughs> Israel. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's yeah. Tyler that's Perry, Perry presents. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But he converted to Christianity before he went. So his family's going to find out that he's Hold no on, wait, longer is he, a Jew. Is he really? He's, well, he's yeah. he's embraced Christianity more now that we live in yeah. Texas. So he got, he got here, and people were like, "You're a what?" And then he I went, don't. Do you think he embraced it, or just like I think he got kind of freaked he out. He kind of yeah. He's like, "I think we're gonna die when I'm yeah. here." So he now he tells people his name is Patty instead of Nadal. yeah. But I'll tell you what, no, I didn't text no Patty. That's yeah, true. yeah. No, I know. <laughs> <laughs> you texted the dog. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I like that his reply was, I'm not, instead of like, here's what you should yeah, do. Yeah, can I help you? Actually, guess? that's not his exact words was, I'm not here. Shalom, yummy hummus. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sounds right. Yeah. That's definitely an adopt yeah. way of handling yeah. things. Yeah, he should have been here, like. Here, uh, Zolo can help you out, or, you know, would have been yeah. like. Yeah. I'm not. Click, yeah, click later. Not my job. Not my job. This yeah, it was Peter weird. I've, I've never, I've never yeah. seen hummus on a text. Yeah. He got it all over the fucking text. It's fucking <laughs> unbelievable, that guy. Um, so this is this the fourth album? It's the fourth album. That's wow. yeah, so yeah. I know your shit, man. Um, that is fucking. I want to say I've been here on your show for every album. I, I want to say have. so too. Um, and I want to say it because I think it's true. I think mm. you're right. Pussy King, um, was on. Let's see, that was because there's Old Wheeler. First one's Redneck shit. Redneck shit. Then Old Wheeler. Wheeler. Then WW3 about my son. Yep. And then this yeah 
That's By the way, you beautiful. can have it. Awesome. Thank you. Can't wait. And I really love the artwork on this last album. It's a very strong message. Thank you so much. Um, I try to keep up with the big boys. I don't know if you if you guys, you were just in Nashville, but God, it's got so fucking corporate, you know? Yeah. The way that the country, I mean, like, um, they're seriously, I mean, you know that guy got in trouble with the racial slur, but to me, the real people should be getting in trouble is like, this, have you heard that guy with the fucking who is the cultural appropriation? This fucking dude is like rapping about Applebee's. You seen that song? Yeah, yeah. The Applebee's God, rap. That, that's the worst. That's fucking the worst song. But isn't ever. that just isn't that more racist than anything you could just ripping off black culture? Yeah, sounds pretty terrible. Yeah, yeah. who is the guy who does that? I just I th I thought his name was Applebee's guy. Yeah, and they're using it right. Probably. I mean, it's probably why he wrote it. Yeah, they're using it. I mean, Applebee's is good, but not good enough to write a fucking song about it. Yeah. Fancy Like from Walker Hayes. Yeah. Um, Walker Hayes, that's his name. Yeah. It sucks to share a name with him. Yeah. I pisses me off. Well, maybe they'll buy my album by mistake. Yeah, I mean, oh, by the way, the new album has, uh, you're right, Beaver Fever, Fucked by a Country Boy. She's oh. a country music fan. Pussy Wait, and Beer. Wait, what's Fucked by a Country Boy? Um, It's... Can I tell you a story about that song? Sure. Yeah. About how fucking... And then tell me about how, Sluts in Heaven. How, um, how does it go? Fuck My Country Boy got real big, but here's, yeah. here's the thing. So the big thing on music streaming services is the playlist. Is They refuse... The the major labels refuse to play... Have banded together, because I'm I'm destroying all the fucking... Their, their stars. Yeah. Because I sell and stream more than them. So they made sure that the streaming services can't playlist me, because playlisting makes you bigger. That's the new way that they, they uh, shadow ban you basically. Ban, that they ban you. Yeah. So, mm. fuck by country boy got so big it was on some Spotify's got this thing called the um, the top viral songs in America. Mm. It's a, so it, the 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 record companies can't do nothing about that that playlist. It's just how many people are listening. Sure. And fuck by country boy was number seven. And I have a buddy who works at a, at a at a label. I go so they can't ban me from this. The, the real what yeah. people are listening to the viral charts and the guy goes wait till tomorrow they called this they called the fucking streaming services gone <gasps> erased it what really because usually it goes you're at number seven on the viral charts you go down five to twelve yeah you go up five or whatever it is it was just gone it was just gone well let me tell you if it's a song I think it is I've been singing on TikTok relentless no it's all over the fucking it's TikTok it's relentless on the TikTok you've really dialed into America right now it's one that goes, have you ever been fucked? Yeah. Fucked, 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 fucked by. by. The yeah. whole audience I know of the it. show. I fucked. know it. Yeah. So well, it's a great song. We all clap we and sing and then, you know, people out in the audience do it. It's a So it's really the, the suits at these big streamers that are like, uh-uh. Well, the labels, right? or the, the, labels own or the, the, labels, yeah. the labels own the streaming companies. Such wow. a good song. I mean, not, I mean, right. some not of them, literally, but. Some but, of them literally do, yeah. but some of them also just say, that space <laughs> Is you know no one's gonna listen to the fucking Applebee song unless we shove it down their fucking throat, right? So we got to put it on the fucking playlist because that's what people just tap people, into. Because people like me and you guys, we we go to our streaming services and we go type in Stevie Wonder. We just want to yeah. listen to a song, right? But most people, most people are yeah. fucking idiots, <laughs> yeah. so they they just go tell me what to listen to yeah, yeah and they just go oh applebee's yeah fucking <laughs> yeah although garth Gar i was gonna say garth but garth ain't on it because he's that's right he's amazon exclusive still right wow so, yeah yeah wow. you gotta have amazon you want to listen to g you gotta get amazon can, can i can i make a weird um admission yeah I, got, I wanted to hear garth so bad i signed up for that amazon thing. you did you did yeah. yeah what's your favorite garth song I don't know what song I wanted to hear that day, but I just felt like sometimes I don't feel. Are you with me on this? I don't feel like Garth has songs. It's just Garth. Yeah, mm. like you just want to hear Garth. It's just like all his songs are just part of like the Garth universe. It's like mm. I wanted to experience the Garth. It's quake. called the Garthiverse. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. But yeah, I you did. see this? He's uh, he's doing like some pretty positive stuff. Hey, everybody, Garth Brooks and Trisha Yearwood, and we're proud to say. We stand with Ukraine, especially the refugees. There's a global initiative, and of course, supplies and aid is already spread thin. And this is where you come in. We need your help. We need you to donate. Yeah, I mean, we, we always ask for love and prayers. Please keep doing that. But we're also going to ask you, dig in your pockets. Be part of the greatest global relief plan mankind has ever seen. 
Everybody deserves dignity. Everybody deserves a roof over their head to feel safe. You can be a part of that. Yeah, amen. So join us, won't you? Stand up for love. Stand up for mankind. <laughs> Stand, Stand up, up for Ukraine. Ukraine. What was the laugh about the at the laugh. end? Why did he laugh? I don't know. People are just getting their heads blown off, and he's fucking laughing. He <laughs> looked at her and then goes, <laughs> stand, "Stand up, up for Ukraine. Ukraine." Why the laugh? Why did what it's prompted such, him? To I think laugh? I think in the prompter it said "laugh" from another video, and so he did it, and then it was like, "Fuck it, just print it." Yes. You know? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and and there's no reason to laugh. We're talking about get, Ukraine. Go over the script, and they're like, "He's like, which emotion do you want here?" <laughs> and they're like, "Laugh." And he's like, "Okay." Yeah. <laughs> People are dying. It's like, it's yeah, like so OJ somebody's like, that. oh shit, it's Ukraine. Who put a laugh in the prompter? And then they're like, shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But that's what OJ does. Notice that? Like, remember yeah. last week we were watching his Twitters with tweets with yeah. Danny Brown? Yeah. He does the same thing. He's like, ha ha, just got my golfing today. You're like, why are you laughing? Yeah. Because he got away with murder. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no <laughs> shit, yeah. homie. Yeah. I'd be, I'd be laughing every fucking day. Yeah. Right. <laughs> God, Tom and I are starting to look like Trisha and Garth, aren't we? I'm getting there. I think like a better looking version. And you also don't need to show the number of billions on your hat either. <laughs> that you have? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got seven now. Give me a hat. <laughs> yeah. Can you imagine if they like switched out to an eight during the oh, video? Yeah, they just oh, hand him another hat. <laughs> He's like, I, I hit it. Oh, great. All right. Hey, y'all. <laughs> I'm just a regular guy, just like y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Where does Garth live? Do you mean that? I think he lives outside. He has an outside of Nashville. Yeah. Place, oh, he's on Nashville? And he's got a place in Oklahoma. Yeah. yeah and seen... he, I heard he just bought a place on the moon. <laughs> oh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, I heard some I heard some pretty cool stories about him that I can't share. But, oh shit. Yeah, from somebody um who's uh very close. Was it like sex? No, no, not not at all. What? Just about like Whacking off? Persona. No, just like personality. Like, like cool? Verification. Like ver full personality. <laughs> it was like verified about. How crazy? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, thank thank you so much for not sharing. Yeah. yeah. Well, I don't want to. I, I can t I can share off mic. You know? Okay. Yeah. That's, that's always good. That's, that's what people like on podcasts. They love it. Yeah. Yeah. I know. Yeah. I know. Well, can I just you... can't. I mean, I, 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 I shouldn't have said anything, but yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Who told it to you? Kid Rock? Yeah. I, was, I went to his place in Nashville. Mm. Uh, in uh, Franklin, I guess it was so outside Nashville. He's fun. He though. has a White House replica. He built mm. a, a replica of the White House as his new home. That's it, a nice idea. Kid Rock. I, I, yeah. I, I went. I, patriotic. You know, I toured with Kid Rock. You no. did? Yeah. And? It was fun. He was couldn't be nicer. I'll he tell couldn't you, have been yeah, nicer. Can, so I tell, cool. can I tell you one thing, too? Food on the road, you guys know, it fucking sucks. Yeah. They had fucking catered everything. I've never eaten so well in my fucking oh. life. Yeah. Yeah, he seems cool as shit. Like, I don't agree with everything Kid Rock thinks or says. Well, you don't I agree guess. with ev what everyone thinks. Yeah, says. but I yeah. I like his personality. I think he has zero fucks, and I he love definitely that. Gives zero he fucks. couldn't. He couldn't. I he, love couldn't it. he couldn't have been nicer to me. Yeah, yeah. he's cool as shit, man. Yeah, he was nice. He's that's, where fun. I, that's where I met Jimmy John <laughs> from Jimmy John Subs. <laughs> is, it, wow. is there actually a Jimmy John? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. That's his real name. That's his real name. Yeah. Jimmy he, may, John. May, he makes good subs. Yeah. How do you, how do you go from being Jimmy John? Making subs at home to just like having that em empire. It's a real empire. I mean, yeah, that, that's a real empire. My was, manager could eats, not have eats been Jimmy friendlier. John's every fucking day. Really? I love that sub. Yeah. Are they very heavy? He's a heavy, heavy set person. He's not a heavy set person, but my guess is I probably need to up it on the album streams if he's eating Jimmy John's. Every day. <laughs> if he's making a, if that if that's what his percentage buys him. Yeah. I can't couldn't believe have been cooler. That's your song. The Have You Ever Been Fuck? I mean, that is. You know what's like funny? So I got an fire. old, I got an uncle who's like, I want to say 82, who watches TikTok all day. Yeah, me too. And he'll call me <laughs> and he'll call me up like, oh, I saw another dude. He's like, he sent me a video of something. He's like, this guy is like built. He's got big muscles and he's singing your song. Wheeler, isn't that cool? It's like, <laughs> Because he's built? <laughs> no, but I'm like, it's not cool that my 82 year old uncle's watching TikTok all yeah. day. Yeah, and that kind of weird. A little bit, but I mean, but he's like, he's but he's, he keeps, he's entertained. But he keeps swiping because I think old people like it because especially Easy. old dudes they keep swiping until they see the boobs. You know? yeah, yeah, sure. I'm looking for tits. Yeah. yeah. Now, do you? Um, because I think we've talked before that your mother has come to a show and she's like, Jesus, like I wish you. were language but like you sing nicely why do you have to sing these kind of songs yeah she doesn't love it but you know i just did one of my goals when i started was and you probably i'm sure you played there and sold out but was to sell out the ryman yeah and we just 
did a sold out show at the Ryman just a few weeks ago, and it was fucking crazy. My it's whole fam- family came out to that, so it was cool. But like when I sing "Drop Them Out" and the couple titties came out, yeah. and I was like trying not to look in case my mom got too into it. I didn't want to. Yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah, that's my that's my that's my old drinking station. I don't need to see it. Now, <laughs> after a show like that, though, it's like, okay, you say nasty things, but this is pretty awesome, right? Like, yeah, she, that was that was kind of well, that was one of the few times she was just like, I see three thousand other people getting it, so yeah. I'll give you a pass. Is and your she, dad, he was there. Yeah, he loved it too. Are yeah. they like traditional? He, he, are they religious he, or anything? Like conservative? They're, they're pretty conservative. Okay, but they're not. They would rather me sing clean, yeah. but. Like I said, I was just talking to Danny Brown. I got my own lane. Danny Brown got his own lane. Yeah. I don't want to be. Yeah. I don't want to sing the fucking boring ass fucking I would shit. be so fucking depressed if, it, if I had, hey, you hear the new Wheeler album? And then it was like, yeah, yeah, this, this yeah, one's, yeah uh, this one's all about Applebee's. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. This one's actually all about Chili's. He, he, he found his own fucking <laughs> yeah, exactly. competition. No, no I, want, I, like, I like doing my. Um, Your thing, man. I like doing my thing and I don't like. That's why I didn't sign to these fucking labels. They want to buy me out to you know throw me this money. I was like, nope. Yeah, I want to stay fucking independent. I want to be able to say what I want to fucking say. That's why I get so pissed about these guys. You know, man, I got fucking canceled. Well, don't sign to fucking Universal. Yeah, you know, right? Don't you, you want you you want all the fame? You want all this fucking? My new hero is um this guy. Uh, I've been watching his videos nonstop. You know uh, UGK? Yeah. Hip-hop group? Yeah, sure. Bun B? Yeah. I just saw some interviews with him. He was just like, he broke down the music business. Go check out those videos if you haven't watched it. He broke down the music business like that. It was just like, this guy fucking knows this shit. He, he gets it. He goes, he was saying, if you sign to a major label, you're a fucking idiot. He didn't say that in those terms, but he's like, you know, you want to, he goes, do you want to, you want to make money or you want to be famous? You got to choose. You want to make money, you got to own your shit. Mm. You want to be famous, sign your life away to a big fucking corporate label. You got to, I mean, you guys do that. You, no one owns your touring. No. You know? No one owns any of your fucking No one owns shit. podcasts. No, exactly. Yeah. You guys have your own thing. Yeah. No, one, no one can come in here and tell you what the fuck to say. No. That's Thank great. God. And in this country, you can do that. Yeah. <laughs> you just got to build it up. It takes a little more work and yeah. you can't, you know. It takes more risk. And risk, you can't, yeah. you can't, you know, muscle like, um. You know, like, I'll give you my favorite example is like, man, Blake Shelton's album sales go down. Man, he's on The Voice now. He's big again. Well, look, let's look a little deeper. Okay. Blake Shelton. He's on Warner Brothers Records. Okay. Mm -hmm. An accident he got on The Voice. Right. So you look through the credits of The Voice. Mm. Who makes The Voice? Does Warner Brothers have anything to do with The Voice? Oh, shit. They do. Like, they're under the table, like. Shaking yeah. each other's hand. Can you help our boy out? Sell, him, sell, sell some fucking records. Now he's a big fucking star again. You want to play that game, you can play that game. Props to Blake Shelton. He's cashing in, but that's not the game I want to fucking play, you know? Yeah. It's all insider fucking shit. So you want real shit? Listen to Wheeler. You want corporate dog shit? Blake Shelton's your guy. <laughs> Props to Blake. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, it's so funny, too, when you hear, um, when you... Before you know, when you see publicity, mm-hmm. like you, you know, you, you, you're growing up, you walk through the airport or some grocery store and you see people on magazines, you're like, I guess this person is just famous. So yeah. Magazine. You don't know they fucking, pay. yeah. And then you it's don't exactly know. Exactly. Time yeah. magazine, but it's Time Warner. And, and then you're like, that person's on a, another show that Time Warner but owns. I, I, al- so I always do. I in. always do that trick with my friends. Like when, with that guy, Morgan Wallen, who's whatever, I think he's fine, but he, he got two shots. He screwed up Saturday Night Live once, right? And then got a second shot. Remember that? He get, had like a COVID oh. protocol thing. Like who gets two shots, especially coming up? Who gets two, two shots at yeah, SNL? SNL? And I go, dude, I know the answer. Look it up right now. I was with my buddy and he had his phone. I go, what label is he on? They go, he looks it up. Universal. Yep. NBC and, Universal. And NBC, mm-hmm. NBC Universal Saturday Night Live. So these things aren't accidents. Right. You don't get two shots. Yeah, at SNL after you screw up the first one, unless sure. your label and the network are shaking hands under the table. Sure. So it's all co- corporate well, hands. Thank God for the internet being the great equalizer. Because exactly. I mean, I remember because then you can go on TikTok and then oh. Christina sees it. Yeah. Oh, and that's I just love that. 
I can't. I still am blown away because I've seen isn't that cool? so isn't that, many isn't that people cool for me that. to be here. That uh, your favorite song, and I'm just it's, right here. I yeah. can't. And I was like, this song's so funny and ridiculous. Like, what is this? And I can't believe it. I can't believe I'm here with the artist. Like, yeah, it's weird. It's blowing my fucking mind. And it's right crazy now. too. It's like, why? Why am I making videos if all these kids are doing? If it. all these people are making my videos, I may just stop making videos. Nah, videos no, are awesome. Yours are. And it, and it is still yet you forget how easy it is to can like you know we always talk about like netflix hulu and like all these streaming platforms and you forget that everyone can watch youtube and so like the the probability that something catches on is so much higher when there's a something to watch on youtube youtube yeah. is phenomenal yeah that's kind of that is why i do it because i you can still make a now with these cameras nowadays you can make a pretty video for yeah. fucking what I thought was a lot of money, but it's ain't yeah. jack shit compared to what these other guys make videos for. Sure. But like, you can make a killer video for 5,000 bucks, yeah. which 10 years ago sounded like a lot of money, but yeah. nowadays, 5,000 bucks, I don't even think you can buy a house in Austin for 5,000 bucks. Not you know, anymore. Yeah. No. Not with the new influx. Right? No, we screwed mm -hmm. that up. Um, this is a, came to me, this is on a plane. Let me see what this says, sorry. Passenger was aggressive towards staff over babies crying on the flight. Oh, I don't dear. know if I agree with what she did or not. I haven't seen this. See. By the way, can I add something? Yeah. Today was my, I flew into Austin. My first flight without having to wear a mask in like oh, how many years? So good. Was that great? It? Fucking, it was weird being able to, it was to weird being able to breathe on a fucking plane. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And also kind of, I kind of remembered why. I don't, I, never, I have mixed feelings because I'm not sure I loved all the smells. Yeah. yeah that's, that's that's too. I never like, I, like I, I didn't, argue with anybody who was like wear a mask on anything but the silliest I always felt so silly on a plane they're like you know wear your mask you're like all right and they're like but you can take it off if you want to eat or drink yeah and you're like well then just eat the whole time yeah well, well you see people doing that my favorite yeah yeah pull, you, you can pull down the mask to take a sip yeah and then put a thing in your mouth well, that, like, COVID, like, here's the thing covid respects like hunger of course you know and and thirst <laughs> covid's like oh this <laughs> they don't really hunger. and and covid <laughs> understands when there's like a plastic barrier yes. between you and so covid knows to stop it, it doesn't goes, go oh, over the plastic yeah it's cool it's, yeah it's cool the covid can't get through plastic i had a rule i want to do this rule at the rhyme and they wouldn't let me do it though i wanted to demand masks for butterfaces but, but they but they they found it offense. they said they because yeah because the state has their tennessee has their covid rules that's a yeah. badass rule i love that yeah. but i want to i want to start doing it in other venues but then they get fucking because then you got to like who decides? Yeah, really? you yeah. need to, you need someone. You yeah. have to hire the staff to decide. Yeah, exactly. Fuck. That that's gonna cost money. Or is it you? Well, I'll decide. Bitchy, bitchy spice. Yeah, bitchy spice. <laughs> she, uh, you don't, think that's booze or mental don't illness? Touch me, booze. Yeah, it's booze or what? Poo. Mental illness. I think it's booze. booze yeah. Yeah. yeah, I also think like, who decides? I got a, I got a flight today. That's what I'm. I got to get my outfit. That's what you wanted to wear. <laughs> Yo, yeah. I know. Well, all you see is absolute psychos yeah. on flights as far as clothing goes. <laughs> People, I mean, the craziest is the cutoff shirt. You see, like not even a, like, <laughs> they cut it back to like here, so full armpit is exposed. It's so insane. I'll it's tell you like what, the Nashville to Austin know. flight is is. <laughs> yeah, uh, there's some there's some characters on there. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. It's like, it's like, they're leaving a party to go to a party. Yeah. It's like we're going from a bachelorette party to a bachelor party. It's unfucking real, man. Is that happening in Austin too, man? Nashville has just turned into, like, it's just bachelorette town. Yeah, into, like, I mean, it's definitely wow. here. It's definitely here. I think Nashville's more. God, yeah. it's fucking crazy. I yeah. want to smash through one of those uh, pedal taverns. <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. those are the worst. No, no, we no. don't have those in Tejas. Do we have those? Pedal, the pedal taverns, taverns here? That's a, Nash yeah, a Nashville a thing. thing. They're, they're here, too. Are they? And yeah. downtown? I don't think we can. Yeah. I hate those things. 
I mean, why would you want to exercise and yeah. get drunk at the same no, time? Def- you well, the thing that. is that most of you, they just, because the, the, the women just start drinking and things just sitting there. Yeah. They, <laughs> they, they stop like, oh shit, I can't drink. And these women, don't, these are not the kind of women who, who do They're not two, cyclists? They can't do two things at once. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can't. These are not Olympic cyclists. No. No, no yeah. That's a no fuck, way. man. Nah. Oh, I'm God. fucking drunk. So wait, when you were in Austin, you said, what happened in Austin? You were supposed to, didn't you say you were going to see my boy? Oh, no, no. I had, I, I wanted to, st- can I start a beef on this show? Do whatever you wow. want. Okay. Yeah. I want to start a beef with your, with your boy. Oh. With sure. Bert. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, so here's oh. the thing. I'm in, I'm in Nashville. My, one of my people on my team calls me up. My boy, my old buddy, Bert, is in Nashville. He's yeah. doing, he does a podcast from his tour bus. He, and he, and he wants you to do it. Oh, I'd love, I love Bert. I'd love to come do the podcast. Yeah. Brett uh, I, Kershaw I, I, or Kerchich, whatever. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And I go, and I'm like, I set out my time. I had rehearsal that day. I canceled my rehearsal. Then I get a call, like, something came up for Bert. He can't do it. You know, shit happens. What are you going to do? Yeah. So then like a week later, so before that, I done, have you ever heard of the Bussin' with the Boys podcast? Yeah. So yeah. I did that podcast. Um. It's like these two NFL guys sit yeah. on a bus. Yeah. Anyway, so fucking Bert cancel, and I get it. He's got he's got to do promotion too. I'm not. Yeah. I I get it. I still want, but I, my point is, I still got beef. Yeah. He he canceled my podcast because he went to to do bussing with the boys, mm-hmm. and he talked so long, they had turned into a two part bussing with the boys. That oh sounds like Bert. Goodness. He showed up at the bus because they, they they kept calling me like you know maybe Bert's gonna. He's got to do this little thing. It won't take too long. He sat in that fucking bus for four fucking hours. What? He went to, he talked to two former NFL, or actually current NFL players for four hours. They had to break it up into two podcasts. And he canceled my podcast, sat on a bus with those fucking dudes. Yeah. And canceled on me. Never heard from him. Mm. Never followed up. And the other thing too was, so I had an episode of Bustin' with the Boys that's been, keeps getting delayed because like Burt Part 8 keeps coming out. Yeah. Yeah. They yeah. got to break it up into like, it's it's turning into a fucking, you know. He never stops talking. It turned into a fucking miniseries. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So yeah. that's my beef. Bert, I love you, but yeah. I'm fucking pissed. I'm sure there's a very good reason, though. Oh. No, I'm that's sure, the reason. That I'm is sure, the reason. Well, I mean, you know. I'm trying to defend Bert. Why? I'm trying to, I don't know. Bert Kreischer. Tom told Bert me before Krishna. to bring up, to bring up, what would you tell me to bring up? His Bert weight. Bert Chrysler. Uh, I forget. I don't even remember what I said. You said um, bring up his weight, but I'm not going to do that. Okay. I like Bert. Um, yeah, he did but four he, but hours it, with busting with the bus. But, he, but he canceled on me for a bus. Yeah, for a bus. And he was going to do your podcast on his bus. He, I mean, I was going to do his podcast. I know, but I'm saying it was going to be on his bus, you know? Right? Yeah. I mean... He left uh, a bus to go sit on a bus. For yeah, I mean, I think the respectful thing would have been to tell those guys, hey, I got to wrap this up soon. I got this thing with Wheeler. Yeah, yeah. it would have been cool. But, you know, sometimes you get four hours of shit to get off your chest. Yeah. Like, well, what did what kind of NFL shit did they talk about? I think I don't think they talk about NFL yeah, shit. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Training? Yeah, yeah. yeah. No. Anyway. Bert, you're on my fucking shit list, Bert. Hey, Bert, I second that. Mm. Okay. Mm. Christina's staying out of it. I'm trying to, you know, trying to defend my boy. Yeah, I well, mean our boy. But I, no, I, 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 listen, I, I do get it. He's got. Why is my promotion more important than his promotion? It don't matter. Yeah. But well, sometimes you just gotta start beef to start beef. I yeah, know. I think it's a good idea. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's a good All idea. Right. Oh man, fuck. 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 <laughs> Shit, man. Yeah. I hope he really comes. I'm gonna. He's gonna be. Oh, I'm gonna be so sorry. So sorry, you know. I'm so sorry. First of all, I love Will Walker's like my absolute favorite. He's like my favorite, my favorite, my favorite. Like, I, th- I think he's like my favorite country guy is Wheeler. And I I was drinking and it got out of hand and I fucking forgot. I I love you. I, I will fly out to see you, Wheeler. That's exactly what Bert That's would say. Yeah. And then that says exactly. so to so to make it up to me, I'm gonna have to fucking fly to Redondo to you do a podcast. Oh, make him come to you. He'll come to you. Nah, I don't wanna be that guy. Mm. He'll, he'll play. He'll play Nashville again soon. Uh, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. No. Doesn't like to go home. So yeah, probably. Does he not <laughs> love to go home? <laughs> not. I always think about that with people who tour. Is like, is that why people tour so much? Uh, yes. Yeah. Stop. He hates us. 
Tom, come on. No. You got a wife wrong. and kids you got to take care of. I know. I guess. Yeah. Maybe if you uh, stop going to the fucking bars so much. <laughs> Christ- oh, I, I heard I about do. that. Yeah. yeah I've yeah. got a real problem. Always out. But I, I take the baby monitor with me to the bar. I can still keep an eye on the kids. Yeah, of course you can see it. They start crying. I can drive home. You got so that little that. nest camera on there? Hell yeah, dude. I just put that on the bar and I can By the see way, them. It's you not didn't a big tell deal. Me who you said, who's your celebrity best friend going to be? Oh my gosh. So we all have, uh, so your celebrity best friend is Brad Pitt. Yeah. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. What's, what's going on here? We want to decide who we want as a celebrity best friend. I saw something about, what, no. Brad came to my show. That's what, so Brad. I was trying to figure, I, I saw, the, I heard the thing yeah. about you. BP. Pit Stop came to my show and um, yeah, we hung out. Where was, was this? In LA. I was in LA. And he's a fan. He's a fan. Yeah. Going to put you in any movies? I don't know. Probably not. Do you Gotta think he'd come to my birthday party in LA? <sighs> I'll ask him. Yeah, I really want him to go. Do you have a you, honest question? You guys number? Yes. Yeah. You guys number? Mm-hmm. Do you ever text him? Sometimes. Is it blue or green? He's, he, can't, he can't be Android. It's blue. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's such a good point. There's yeah, cause, no way. Because the green is like you're off. You're a little antisocial. That tells me a lot, right? Like you're not a conformist. Yes. Yeah, the other thing too is when you, I didn't know this till recently, is if you, a buddy of yours, if you start texting as green, it means they changed their number. That happens. Also, it's oh. like I think it's kind of like you kind of know which of your friends is kind of a loser. You know, if they're green, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I know. I'm like this person has like real shit going on in their life right now. You think that they're cheap or something? Well, like they're just kind of a loser, yeah. I told them, I'm like, like hit me back when it's blue. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Babe, you ever been, are you on a text chain with anyone who's green? Yeah. And then it comes up like a text, like so-and-so. Li- I don't need a text saying you liked it. Yeah. yeah. Shut the fuck up. Grow up. <laughs> yeah. Get a job. Make yeah. some fucking make money. Make some money, man. Yeah. Yeah. So I decided I know who my celebrity best friend will be because cool. it's so hard for me to choose. I don't want to hang out with the Kardashians. I don't think I'd have much no. in common. Like. It's kind of it's kind of rare, and I. Okay, are you ready? Yeah. So I don't know if you've seen Russian Doll, season two, is impeccable. Okay. It features many things that are very similar to my life. Okay. Natasha Leon, I'd like to invite you to be my best friend. Wow. Hold on, let me see your pic. Let me see who that is. Again. I really think. Oh my God! If he can hang out with, if he can, if he's with Brad Pitt, you can, you could be hanging out with her in, any day. She's really cool. She was with Fred Armisen for a long time. Yeah, it says Fred Armisen broke up over a swimming pool. I don't know hmm. if that means over a swimming pool incident or at the pool. I don't know. <laughs> she <laughs> Hey, I don't want to see I you don't anymore. See anymore. Said, what does it say? This, that's a very funny headline. Well, hold on. Yeah, what's it say? Oh, broke up. I want. Um, I want to know what that means. Yeah, make that larger if you don't mind. Um, yeah. Told Harvard that she and I called it quits after eight years together because they disagreed about buying a pool. <laughs> and they lived together in Los Angeles. Man, these are these are not. That these are not. These are not why. Texas. Tennessee I think we problem. broke up because I wanted a swimming pool. We love each other. Can't love each other, and we're still talking all the time. But Freddie doesn't like a swimming pool. That's the fucking. And it's a joke. It's okay. got to be a joke. Oh yeah, okay. that sounds. Yeah, that's like, why I like her because like she, yeah. she's like she's been in showbiz. Her she whole just life. saw. Yeah, she knows how press works. So yeah. she's like this will be the. This will be funny. It'll be funny. a great headline. Yeah. Also, sounds like maybe something really bad happened, and like Could you're be. trying to you're trying to yeah. cover for it. Yeah, smart move. It's like it's just because he wanted a pool. I didn't. Yeah. Anyway, you're, you can't say like, well, he cracked my occipital plate. Can yeah. I tell you why I really like her? It's like season two. She fucking learned, just spoiler alert. I know I'm supposed to say this before. I ain't never watched it, it wouldn't matter. She learns how to speak Hungarian. Oh, so you have a, yeah. It's Ooh. rad. How Hold on, it? what's your connection to Hungary? Um, my parents were from Hungary. Oh, no way. So I just love her whole story. Anyway, she's also recovering. Uh, she's got some problems in her past. Yeah, that one, that picture like right there that. with the Guardian. She, I like she, that. Yeah. That's when she was on uh, the drogas. She's not on the drugs anymore. Isn't that crazy? That's what I'm the most attracted to. <laughs> Why yeah, you like that's, me, that's, that's, baby. Uh, that's gettable. Right? Woo! Like her. Yeah. Yeah, she ain't getting a swimming pool in that pic. You mm-hmm. like trouble. And see, she's got she's troubled like me. She's got a little stuff. <laughs> I like how you're like, so the person I like is just someone who reminds me the most of me. A hundred percent. But here's the thing, because you have to be able to relate. Like, I'm not yeah. gonna relate to a bitch that's like True. Oh, I'm all normal. I had a normal no, upbringing. I bet she's I actually like that. really funny and a lot of fun to hang a with. A big yes. fun hang. So that's a good choice for your celebrity. Like you're more together, so maybe you and BP but you, are but, together. But do you do you want a pool? I do. Okay. So you demand you're cool. a pool. Yeah, we'd be cool. It's too hot not to have a pool. 
I'm still kind of blown away by the Brad Pitt thing. Because mm. I saw, I heard it on the podcast. I thought it was a bit. No. Yeah. Wait, so what do you like about BP? The pit stain. Um, <laughs> he's actually really out. Like, he is an outgoing, fun dude. And I mean, it's kind of weird. I think because I'm a comedian, he, he's always like, he does shit that like my uncle does. He'll be like, how funny is this? And it'll be like an email chain with like some, you know. Oh, trying to give you ideas? Well, it'll just be like, isn't that, he'll be like, can you use this in your act? And like, that's not how, like, this is just a fucking. And it's like a, like a fat chick pick or something? Yeah. Or it'll be like a, like a parody video, but like a cheaply made one. I'm like, yeah, you know. He's got like dad boner. He sends memes and stuff. Yeah. Um, it's too but, bad. But he's a genuine dude. He's like a really gen- like uh, for as iconically famous as he is. It's wild. Well, wouldn't you is say he, you're is, a is genuine he, dude? Is he is he probably the most one of the most famous dudes in the world? For yeah. sure. Is, I got a question for you. So when he comes, <gasps> holy yeah, shit! Yeah, man, they're getting so good at Photoshop. But you're genuine too, Gene. <laughs> yeah. But you're here's my que- no honest question sweet. for yeah. you. Honest question for you. He comes to the show. Does he sit in the audience? Yeah, just like a regular dude. It was masks though. What masks? Oh, that's celebrities yeah. were probably loving the he masks. Was de- you know, he tucked his hair into that bucket hat. Hmm. put the mask on but fucking yeah. imagine having a billion bucks and buying a bucket hat i know no. i think it's from this i think it's from his movie i think so, it's the so, clothes he wore in the new movie that i saw the trailer for i'm like i think he was like can i keep this and they're like sure do we guys say no yeah yeah he still look, he still looks pretty cool though Fuck yeah, dude. Yeah, no, he looks amazing. But isn't that what you dude, like, like about... almost 60, man. But, but wait, I'm not a total narcissist. I mean, isn't that what you like in other people is kind of like what you vibe on? Well, yeah, Like vibes? Sure. Yeah. I'd love to be able to wear that. God, and look cool. I don't know in my head. Like, you make me sound like I'm a total psycho. No, okay. I'm just teasing you. Yeah, you're right. See? Oh, my God, he's wearing that. He's wearing the hat. I want to see that. That looks Bullet really train? Good. It looks fun. Yeah. How about that for fucking promotion? Hey man, there's Brad Pitt on the street. He's wearing the bucket hat from the movie. What, is, <laughs> what does it say in that thing? It says "sent home." What is that to the left? Brad Pitt sent home. Yeah. What does that mean? Uh, oh, someone oh. on the set it's, got. It's COVID. like somebody else went to. Hey, Israel. did you guys get COVID? Uh, yeah. yeah, I got it twice. Twice. Oh my god, I, I I got it. So all my friends got like mild cases. I got it fucking bad. I had the OG strain. Yeah. December 2020. Oh yeah, I had but. Can I tell you what happened? Here's a dumb thing to do. My wife got really sick. Mm-hmm. And uh, she, I was like, you don't, have, she's like, I think I got COVID. It's like, babe, you don't got COVID. I go, I'm going to prove to you, you ain't got COVID. I open my mouth. I go cough into my mouth. She <laughs> coughed into my mouth like 10 times. I woke up. I couldn't, my throat was fucking hurt. And I had rehearsal. I was going in the studio. Oh. I couldn't fucking sing for oh. like a week. Lost my fucking voice. Because you made her cough into your mouth. Because I had to prove to her that she didn't have COVID. Yeah. Then I went, we both got tested, fucking positive, positive. And you got really sick? You really got it twice? Yeah, I got, yes. so, I got so fucking sick. Yeah, I got that. I think the I Delta thought, variant. And I the, thought it was so, I thought it was, I thought it was fucking made up. Yeah. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you think it was made up? <laughs> because I thought my, my wife was talking shit. That's hilarious. Talking some shit? <clears throat> Um, yeah, I mean, we had the OG strand that was hard, and then the second time but you got, but you got pretty sick though. Because the I first yeah. time was I don't, whopper, I don't buy yeah. the people who were just like, because after I what sick. I got through with the sniffles, I got yeah. sick. Yeah, I got yeah, so we fucking got sick. we got tired. I remember just getting real tired. Mine was, I think, worse. Way worse, sir. Yeah. Well, yeah, you had already been kicked out. I'm, yeah. I'm sorry for some of these new variants. I think I'm going to get one of those. Yeah, they're super easier. I mean, well, someone tell me there's two like there's like a Delta Cron that's like a combination. Oh wow, Sweet. it's like the sequel. I'm like, yeah. I'm I'm psyched to get that one. I think yeah. that's, that's what I want next. <laughs> that's yeah. Cool. I'll tell you what. How many people you think on the flight from Nashville to Austin had had uh, so COVID? Many. Sixteen. So many. Probably, I would say, seventy percent of the flight oh, probably okay. had COVID. I think have we just given up on COVID? Like, oh, it's yeah. a cold now. Everyone's got. Well, that's it. kind of the thing. They no, no more masks. And just we're take, done. Just yeah. get them. Can you imagine when a real crazy pandemic, ha- like a flesh-eating thing, what the fuck would really happen? Yeah. I mean, we handled this like dog shit. Yeah. Yo. I thought we fucking, I thought we killed it. <laughs> it's, uh, how I, think, many, I think how we're many, just going to live with the oh, fact that it's a only, thing now. For it's just, only, it's a thing. We only, how many people died? I think only like a couple million. A, a million. couple million. Jesus. Yeah, we fucking yeah. We killed it. So what's it was the big a, deal? It was a cleansing that this kind of, this yeah. world needed. Crushed honestly. it. Yeah. Nailed yeah. it. Uh, all right, the, I gotta take a leak real quick. We got oh, okay. yeah. Immun- immunocompromised. Fuck them. We are back. I peed. 
Uh, we have Wheeler Walker Jr. I pissed next to you. You peed right next to me. Yeah. That was rad. How'd it look? Pretty good. Fucking yeah. It's a nice piece, man. Um, so what's the uh, what's the song you're going to do? So play? what I want to do, and yeah. I've never done this on your show. I've never done this on a podcast, period. I want to get, I know it's going to be weird for me, but I want to get kind of serious here for a second. Okay. Because we have a mutual friend, Adam Egott, mm-hmm. who yes. I met I met through Norm McDonald. I met Billy, through Billy Joe Shaper, who's a great country musician. Through Billy Joe Shaver, I met Norm MacDonald. Uh-huh. And Norm MacDonald and I got really close. Uh-huh. And Adam was really close to him, too. And I texted yeah. Adam last night that I was coming here, and he's not in town, so we couldn't hang out. He said, why don't you play? Because Norm, Norm and I used to, Norm loved country music. He loved outlaw shit. Uh-huh. And um, Adam goes, how about as a tribute to Norm, why don't you play that Waylon song? Out, Waylon has a song called Outlaw Shit that I sometimes play at my shows. Mm-hmm. As a tribute to Norm, it would mean a lot to me if you played outlaw shit. Okay. So I know it's kind of weird for me to play a, a, a serious no. song, but I, I mean, it's be a, great. There's serious people looking at us. Let's just do it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's great, man. You care? Not no, at all. I'm glad. Okay. And we love it's, Norm. And and, and, uh, and, Adam. and Norm was yeah. such a good buddy to all of us and loved country. He was, like I said, real close with uh, Billy Joe Shaver, who's a country hero of mine. Uh, you. If people listening, go look up Billy Joe Shaver, an amazing country artist. Obviously, you all know Norm. Watch Norm. But this is outlaw shit. It's a Waylon tune. This is for Norm. This ain't it, this 
outlaw shit has gotten out of hand, out of hand. Is that good? Beautiful. That was amazing. I felt vulnerable. That's that a good was thing. Beautiful. Yeah, that was what a really nice beautiful. Song. Hey guys in the back, how was it? Beautiful. Loved it. Why the middle finger? Oh, that was a thumbs up. Okay. Cool. The uh I'm that still this sound I mean that was that was absolutely beautiful. You're playing Thanks, and man. you're singing. I um I'm this is how my brain still goes. I was watching your your left hand and I'm like how do you fucking do that and sing? No. <laughs> like not that well. How do you, not, how do you not go like okay? Fingers what's go it's, here. what's weird for me <laughs> is when I do it and it's not go here. and I'm not singing about fucking being fucked by a country boy. Yeah, yeah. It's like you don't like my hands don't want to do it. Really? Yeah. That's you're a, amazing. Yes. Yeah. That was incredible. What a talent! Thank you. I didn't realize that you were so close to Norm. Yeah, and he was a he was a fan, and having someone you're a fan of be a fan of yours is. Yeah, pretty big fucking deal. That's pretty cool. Yeah, and it was awesome that he he loved all the people I loved, and he got what I was doing meant a lot. I didn't know also that Norm was. Um, I discovered this through Twitter because when he joined, I remember when he joined. You know, I'd been on Twitter for a while, and he would go on these tweet rants about classic literature, where like you know the first one you're like, is this a bit, and then then you're a hundred tweets and you're like jesus christ like he had read every piece of classic literature really and would go so deeply into it that he ended up i want to say starting another twitter page so he's like all right i won't <laughs> fucking bore the rest of you with this oh, so i have wow. another like, well, he would text me late at night like hey wheeler who's your favorite um russian author and i'm like yeah. i've read like two books yeah and neither of them were russian yeah they're both had you know came with crayons yeah I don't fucking know. Yeah, he he really like so. I mean, I'm not surprised. Like you know, you're saying like he's this great fan of country music, and I, I imagine it's like the the poetry of it is probably what yeah. And captivated his, his book uh, starts with a which his book is great. I did read that's actually a book I did read. It opens up with a Billy Joe Shaver quote. His book? Yeah, I've never read his book. I should read his. Yeah, book. it's like a it's like a kind of a fake autobiography, but he uh. it, he opens it up with a Billy Joe Shaver quote. And a Bob Dylan quote, so it's pretty cool. Yeah. yeah, he loved he loved the good shit. Yeah, and he was good. Yeah, yeah, he was really he was really good. Yeah, yeah he really. I mean, it's funny because like there's there's not many comics who you watch where you're like that guy doesn't care if 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 he gets this audience's approval. Yeah. Well, yeah. I was gonna say there's not other than you sometimes Bert and you know a couple other dudes. Not many comics who I give a shit if they liked my dug my music you know oh. and he was on that list well, and it yeah. was cool that he dug it no that's fucking rad dude that's and, so cool um, that's a nice tribute too man it's very nice thanks uh, man i hope it was uh, weird it was, was weird not like i said making it a little i wanted to do no. it and I, thank you for letting, letting of me course do it. where's stupid adam today do you know he just said he's, know, he just said he's not in town yeah yeah mm. he goes to see concerts and stuff i yeah. think i think he leaves town when i'm coming yeah probably I'll send him some like hate texts. I saw a concert with him once. Today. Oh, you did? Me too. What did you see with him? I saw the Replacements reunion. I used nice. to love the Replacements, and he loves the Replacements too. Yeah, I'm sure he has a pen of theirs. Yeah, he's got. Oh, he, yeah, yeah, he. He's another guy who'll just like. He, man, the Replacements are awesome, huh? Like, yeah. I'm at my parents' house. Yeah. We're kind of in the middle of something. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Adam has like tattoos of his favorite music artists. Yeah, he's actually so somebody cool. who enjoys Bauhaus. Uh, we went We've to Bauhaus taken, yeah. together yeah. at the Will Turn. He was my one of my guests. Yeah, and he I, he told me well, he got know. all the. Uh, so the comedy store had like there were there was like a kitchen, right? Yeah. He said he got all the Mexicans back there into Wheeler. Nice. Really? Yeah. So that was good. Cool, Sweet. I, he, he, shout the out Mexican, to the Mexican he, kitchen yeah. at the store. Uh, thank, thank you, Mexican kitchen <laughs> yeah, guys. Nice. But he said he sent me a picture once of the kitchen back there. It was like my vinyl was all over. That's the rad. Dude. Yeah, dog. That yeah, was cool. Adam's a good guy. Yeah. Thank that's God fucking cool. Here. 
Mm-hmm. He's yeah. here. We got we took a lot of Angelinos came here. Yeah. That's yeah. Dope. Austin, Austin, Nashville are the new LAs, I guess. Shit. Mm. I don't know. I mean, are, are you? Do you still dig Nashville? Is it still like? Can I give you the sh- the short answer? Yeah. No. Because it's too it's too fucking it's too fucking LA. It's yeah. It's fucking it's just pedal tapperings. It's, it's trying to be. I just saw a thing that they're turning. Speaking of which, they're turning Blake Shelton's bar into a Ugh. fucking Carson Daly TV fucking show. Yeah. What? Fucking choke me. Shut the, Get the fuck out of town, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't want Carson Daly where I live. I moved there because Carson Daly didn't live there. <laughs> yeah. And now Carson Daly's going to be shooting a... I mean, does it, have you ever heard of a worse idea for a show, Carson Daly live from Blake Shelton's bar in Nashville? Yeah, Shut the why? fuck up. Who's behind this? NBC Universal. <laughs> Probably, yeah. yeah. Warner Brothers. Yeah. Get the fuck out of Nashville, man. Is it used to be a, dead? used to be a cool, a cool sm- fucking small town, and yeah. now it's fucking... Well, you could tell. I mean, a, a town a town dies when Carson Daly shows up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I didn't know Carson Daly was still a thing. I just I didn't. I Where saw the, I saw in, I saw in the paper. Someone told me about it. Where is he? He's, been? Doing, he's doing his new show from Blake Shelton's bar. I mean, well, I'm saying if, if you're doing your new show from Blake Shelton's bar, you, things ain't going so hard. Oh, yeah. I remember when Carson Daly first came out on MTV. Remember, and at the time there was like personalities. The VJs on MTV yeah. were like, you know, Pauly Shore in the in the yeah. 80s. Downtown Julie Brown. Downtown Julie well, Brown. Well, they had personality. And Carson Daly was just a car, piece of cardboard. That's what I'm saying. And then Car and then it was like Carson Daly. Everybody was like, who's this fucking wooden guy? But they, but he, you know, but then he, whatever he was doing around. worked. Right? I know. Because people, everyone knew his name. And uh, like, I know. Well, it's about to stop working because I'm going to go down heckle. Because <laughs> he did that TRL. Total request live. Oh, that's right. And it was like the top forty. Yeah. Like what the teeny boppers are fucking to. And then But you know what's like, really funny is that Ugh, what a nightmare. his gig, what a gig was like just being like cute. Yeah, so you're yeah, being cute and then being like the yeah. new album is fantastic. Yeah. And like so rich with mm-hmm. so many. And then the person would be like, Yeah. And then you associated Carson with um you know the biggest acts like right? cool that things, was like the yeah. place people would stop by you know? and it was right in times square could you imagine that yeah and then game? you're just like oh sh- cool fucking nirvana's gonna be on there gotta tune in like, yeah. what's what's carson and daily gonna ask nirvana he's like you guys rock pretty cool huh <laughs> and they're like yeah <laughs> oh shit sound garden's on yeah, yeah. yeah. It, and then he asked sound garden yeah. say, how's it like to rock <laughs> i'm here how's it like to rock i'm here with the the wu-tang clan and um yeah. Now, ODB, any how, some of your raps are wild, man. Yeah. <laughs> Where'd you get that name? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's so funny. Like, who at MTV okayed Carson? They're like, we need somebody very wooden. Well, Kurt Loader was very boring, too. So maybe that's something that had worked. But Kurt for had... What do you think he's doing now? He was like a legit... He's wasn't he like a legit journalist, though? Probably. And that was like, like the early days of MTV. Kurt yeah. Loader, but that was right? a weird move to put him on. Yeah. I remember being a kid, like, why is this old dude hanging out with us? Yeah, right. That's like true. the coolest people, like Madonna. Isn't was Kurt Loader way older than you even think he is? Yeah. Will you Google right. Kurt Loader? Yeah. Because he was old as shit. You're How right. How old is he dude, now? Dude, he looks good. There he is. He's 77. What? <laughs> you know who else is 77? He's my dad's age. Charo. Yeah, yeah. My mom is 77. Bro, that's that means he was like 40 something. So when I was yeah. watching Kurt Loader on MTV, he was my he was, like your, he, was your my, age. he was my parents. Age. Literally, yeah. That's wild. Crazy. I think he kept it together pretty well. He sure did. I mean, look at that guy. He what do you think well. they what do you think they paid him for that? Must have been uh, Jack back shit. then? Nothing. Bullshit. Yeah. Absolute bullshit. Yeah. Nothing. And then I remember the grind with Eric Nice, remember from the real world? Eric yeah, got a I gig. I was so jealous. I'm like, "Oh my god." I wish I could be a you know host something on which MTV. guy was that? He was um, the hot guy from New York cast, the like the first Real World cast. Yeah. He aged really well, I want to say. Oh, yeah. I remember that. Yeah, he was he was, re- he was very handsome. He's the model. Yeah. And wait, he, wait a second. He was, from, from, was he? That's him from. That's him I'm going to throw you some history. Was yeah. his dad an NBA ref? Don't remember that. Oh, really? That's a deal. I remember. I swear, I saw a ver- uh, on the Real World. Look up his dad. So I used to watch that show all the fucking time. Me too. Did you see the reboot they did on Netflix? Uh, he's like a basketball photo. Yeah, because yeah, they, they he went he went uh, on an episode. Oh, yeah, they, thirty-one. Like yeah, uh, NBA. They game. went and watched his dad like officiated oh. an NBA game. Well, that's cool. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Dang. And it looks like he's got another notable child. Who's John Neese? It's another there kid. You go. Uh, a six oh, overall he was a, uh, NFL player. 
Oh, wow. shit. So they're like hot and athletic, the That's family. Yeah, I hate, I, hate those, I hate those fuckers. That's got to suck. Yeah. Yeah. It's like busting with the boys. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, they're all models. The John and yeah. Eric are models. It's wow. wild. Can you imagine being, that's like, well, it's like, that's why I hate Tom Brady, you know? Just sure. Like, that good looking, that fucking good. I mean, you're I friends mean, with Brad Pitt. You probably love it. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> but this guy, to be NF, like to be drafted and then be like, this didn't work out. I'm going to be a fashion model. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's so fucking crazy. I know. Who that's gets his that? Life. Uh, yeah. God. Let's see. Let's see how hot the bro is. Oh, yeah. He looks like looks his Looks like brother. his twin. Yeah. Yeah. So these Look at that picture right there with the shirt off. What is going on? That's like the guy who made the Fuck by a Country Boy video on TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dang. Yeah. Someone that tells me that guy right to, to the right is not related. <laughs> that's not him. That's mm. definite. But yeah. yeah. He sells real estate. <laughs> he, for sure, he's definitely yeah. had phone calls where someone like, you're John Neese? Yeah. You know, he's yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. Imagine that date where you show up and that guy shows up. Yeah, and they're like, oh, <laughs> fuck. Uh, what, 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 what round were you drafted? <laughs> Holy shit. Wait, so what's on MTV now? Shows. I'll even... tell you, I'll tell you Reality what's on. Let's look at their I'll, lineup. I'll tell you what's on MTV because I just I shot an episode of Ridiculousness. Uh -huh. Oh, dear. And I was and I was like, I wonder is this a waste of my time? They aired it about forty seven times wow. a day. Wow. Yeah. Oh, so it's wow. it's all it's Deer Dex channel. No, it's, it's ridiculousness all day. Good for him. Yeah. Well, that's good. At least that's entertaining. Remember True Life? That was a good one. True Life was great. Like True Life, I eat. I yeah. miss Beavis and Butthead. Is what I want. Yeah, that was great. That was good. Catfish. And Catfish was awesome. I, I think. Oh yeah, that was good. It just like they. I mean, I understand why when you're making television, but they just draw it out too long. It was it's so like you want like the How about how about again? I'm just throwing out a wild card for music television. Anything music? No. Yeah. Wait, mm. that doesn't. No, is that mm. Canadian? Much music? You're thinking of. Well, isn't is it MTV? It's still called music television, right? Because they would do oh yeah, girl code guy. Oh, uh, Jersey one, Shore. What was uh, Cannon? Jersey Shore. Best Cannons, show. Best show. Where they talk shit, you know, slam each other. Uh, Wild and out. Wild and out. That was a big MTV that was a show. Good one. I remember yeah. trying out for that. Remember when they were auditioning comedians? They needed a white girl at one point. Then they, they would even say that shit back in the day. Like, well, we need like a white girl. You're white. And I yeah, I tried out. Didn't make it. Yeah. I can talk some shit though. I'm surprised. I don't know what whether white bitch got it, but you know. I need um, to show this to to Wheeler here because if if you didn't see, we're still mourning Kevin Samuels. Oh man, I'm five three. How much do you weigh? <laughs> That's none of your business. I told you I was fat. Oh okay. okay. The, we don't play that shit on my channel. <laughs> you get your big fat ass on somewhere then. I don't deal with you big sassy ass broads. You think you can get out here? <laughs> and be like Danny's big ass, go knock yourself out. But I would be remiss to try to tell you as an image consultant and as a person and a professional that you can be 5'3 and weigh so much that you don't even want to tell somebody how much you weigh <laughs> and think you're going to get a man to marry you, a high value man. So you go ahead and go on back over and get your two piece or three piece or whatever you got coming from, you know, Chick fil A or Popeyes or Jesus Chick fil A Christ. all day. Yeah, your ass on over. I don't know. This guy ain't <laughs> fucking around. No, nah, he's dead. Who's, now. It, who's this guy? <laughs> Kevin Samuels. He died. He died? He died. He just yeah, a few passed. Weeks ago. Seemed like a good dude. Yeah. He was great. <laughs> he was setting him nice, straight. Nice guy. Yeah. yeah. Telling people to, to have realistic expectations. Yeah, telling a large woman that they're going to be alone for the rest of their life. <laughs> yeah, it was great. It was great. Not just that. Well, let me guess, he died alone. No, he actually he died. died fucking. He died fucking. Yeah, he, in Atlanta, he was fucking somebody. And then had what? What heart, heart attack? attack? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah. yeah. Well, serves him right. You shouldn't be talking about women like that. <laughs> That's the. This is the soft. I'm trying. Version. I'm trying. I'm trying to get more female fans. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, you want to see some of your talks that you've? Oh, done? I'd love to. You want to show them to Wheeler? Goodness gracious, uh, Wheeler. I don't know if, if you're familiar with this or not, but Christina works really hard curating this segment for the show where she flags TikToks. Um, oh, I, lo I love it. And I really wish I could have pulled the many dances I've seen to your song, but we can't air it because of the as, rights. As and... a TikTok star, I'd love to see yeah, all your it's talks. it's so good. People really I'd even, I'd even watch a tick. to your house? What would you do? <laughs> Give you lots of cuddles. That's some people watch? <laughs> So some people do and some people watch. People yeah. just like, that's fun to watch? Yeah. Furries. Yeah. 
I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like the cuddle. Like, ugh. I like that you're not, you're not going to cuddle a stranger that breaks into your house wearing a furry outfit. You're that, not gonna. That was terrible. That was That's very not strange. True. Oh, no. Oh, this fucking psycho. I've seen him before. More. It's caviar. More. Straight from the source, you guys. Salmon roe. Ugh. That guy is always eating like raw just the, livers. Just, he just yeah. eat, eats shit? Always raw. raw. And he probably makes what, like five mil a year? He, <laughs> eating, the, eating the inside animals yeah, raw? Yeah. He's super jacked and he's like, liver. So what know? are we doing here? We're, We're fucking around. Yeah. We're being idiots. But well, yeah. why are we not doing this? The liver king. That's him. Yeah. Uh, the liver king. Yeah. I mean, I've seen it all. Prom? That's her prom arrival. So this girl showed up to prom in a coffin, like an open casket, yeah. and that was her arrival. Which, hey, she did cause a stir. She I mean, all people eyes on her. the fuck out. You know sure. what? We deserved COVID. Yeah, it, sh it should have been harsher. <laughs> it should have affected the young. <laughs> that is one way to arrive. Jesus yeah. Christ. Pretty cool. Yeah. Prom. I seen it all. Yeah. And that's grammatically incorrect. It's not. I, I seen it all. I th no, I've I think. Yeah, I know what you're saying. It's, but it's, I seen it all. Yeah, <laughs> I seen it. I sing we'll it all. It. I sing it all. Oof, Yo, man. you like that? That's actually very funny and entertaining. Yeah, she's smiling. She should play she, dead. Yeah. She's not playing dead. If she, I think the the ruckus was more than she expected. You know? Yeah. She, she was like, she's, no, that's exactly. You yeah. think you run a cough and not expecting a ruckus? I mean, but I think that it's more than she could handle it live. Like the way to play it for sure would be to play. Yeah. Completely like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How to do the show, and then music starts. Da da, yeah. Yeah. And, and then you and like you rise dress. up, and there's yeah. lights. But what and did shit? people think? What did she thought? Like, oh, people are gonna think that this is my funeral, <laughs> and then I come out <laughs> I and dance. Know. Holy shit! <laughs> it's also what is this? What's the the call? Is it on like a flatbed truck or something? Like what? How? how do, yeah, it is right. Is that what it's on? I don't. It looks like it's on. I see it all. I think it's, yeah, on, it is. it's on a skateboard. <laughs> people are. Flipping out. <laughs> oh my god. It's rad though. It is a good night. Guys, it's hard to shock these days. <laughs> and she did it. She did do it. Please just take a minute out of your day to listen to this. <laughs> <laughs> I dig farts, man. Thank you. It was perfect, right? Yeah, yeah that was great. I mean, the timing, the That's setup. A, see, now I'm in TikTok. Yeah, yeah, it's well, good he also shit. he hooked you well because you you know he was like just. <laughs> he, give me I thought he was gonna talk about yeah, yeah. like life underwater. Sure. Or <laughs> yeah. The timing was perfect. Yeah. Hey, actually, can you play that one again? Sure. Yeah. Hi everyone, I'm Marina. This is Grace. Hi, I'm Grace. Um, we just want to do a <laughs> quick video since I can't go live because I don't have no followers yet. If you're texting our man. Or in Bottenham on any social media, you better back the fuck off. And we will fuck your asses up. You don't want to play with us. Go we'll find out where you live. We don't care how far our drive we have to go. Our men have no problem texting us because they're loyal and so are we. I have been with mine since middle school and I am now 20. Oh, wow. Starting tomorrow. She has been with her man a long time and we are not praying when it comes to our men. They're the father of our kids. Well, I have kids. She doesn't yet. And we really don't appreciate you guys sending pictures of your body parts to our gu our guys and asking if they're single. Because obviously, they're fucking not. You see that my name's with his name for a reason. Hmm. So we're not single. And they're not single. Babe. So about the fuck off, right? We'll find out where you live and fuck your world up. <laughs> You'll be seeing stars and moon when we're done with your asses. Period. Have a great day. Bye. Holy shit. That was, that was fucking crazy. That was pretty crazy. <laughs> also, I think that these girls should include um, what do you, photos and handles of their men so we know who not yeah. to send yeah. photos. Who, who, yeah, we got to know. <laughs> yeah. What if, I, what if I'm doing it? Yeah. But also, what do you think that guy you showed me before who died, what do you think he would say about them? The guy who farted? <laughs> no, no, the guy Kevin who... Sam. Kevin oh, Kevin Samuel. Samuel. Oh, he would. Okay, would, first of all... <laughs> <laughs> There are men who date you. You have men. I'm assuming these men make twenty five to thirty five thousand dollars a year. <laughs> you on the left there. You play for the Titans or who you play for? 
Would he, would he say shit like that? Oh, well, yeah. he wouldn't. He wouldn't rag on someone who's not. He's. He was getting. He was giving solicited, sometimes unsolicited, to the people like the call greater, him. the greater masses. But the people he would talk to were asking him. So they'd be like, "I'm single, and I want." He's like, "And you want a man who makes like three hundred four thousand dollars a year?" And he'd be like, "What do you weigh?" That was his first question. A lot of times, or yeah. he'd be like, "You, you know, like? what do you think you are? Rank yourself on a scale of one to 10 They'd be like, "I'm a 10 He'd be like, "I'm sorry." <laughs> You're what? And he'd be like, are you an international supermodel or something? And they'd be like, no. He's like, you're not a 10. We both know that. So what do you, to be honest, they'd be like, eight. He's like, no. <laughs> he just, you know, he would just be, he would just basically give them like a reality check. People. And he, he would have a scale of other things, like how many children do you have? Yeah, what many... kind of baggage are you coming into this relationship yeah. with? And to dudes, like, I mean, there's not as many clips of them out, but you can find them of him, like well, a I'm guy. Gonna, I'm going to be Googling him. Oh, it's day. great. It's so it's funny. Great. He would be like, uh, and he went out fucking. Yeah, he went out fucking. Yeah, he'd be like, you were, you make what, and you think you deserve like a, you think a, a woman who's like a ten is gonna fuck with you? Hmm. Okay. So he'd rip on men too. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. It start. He started he as started a consultant men, for men. For, for men, yeah. And then he moved to women. Please just take a minute <laughs> out of your day to listen to this. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you know how some people fart and you can kind of you can see their butthole yeah. in your head? Yeah. I, 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 know, I know exactly what his butthole is. You do? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like, especially those little flaps at the end. Yeah. You know. It was snappy. He has, good, he has a good diet. I don't think that's like. Yeah, yeah, that was like. But he's trying to hold it in there at the end. <laughs> he wanted it because he knew it was TikTok. It was short, so he had to get it out. Yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck. Uh, uh. Oh, that's not nice. Jesus Christ. No wonder you left LA. You can't do this shit in fucking California. The, cra <laughs> the crazy thing. <laughs> is there is it some some context here? Well, she's singing. She's singing. Yeah, she's actually singing. Oh, I know that song. Oh, okay. <laughs> I will always love you. <laughs> Is that the Dolly version or the Whitney version? Uh, I think that's the Whitney version. Okay. No, it's really, really good. <laughs> that's really good. It's a cool app. Oh, well, man. I'm not seeing a lot of faces in the booth. No, okay. And everyone's hiding. Yeah. Is it hot in here or is it yeah. that I'm wearing a fucking muffin? Legend has it. Someone sent him sucker. LOL, look at this. He's seen yeah. the, like the artist, the artistry in it. Mm -hmm. and, um, Is that DJ out. Nails? And, um, <laughs> basically, just, just, just. What oh, he's happening? got the tool belt on too. What is this? <laughs> is this a, I think he's a rapper. I'm yeah. not sure who I know. I don't know. Eddie, who, who is that? <laughs> cool. <laughs> hey, my tribe. And man. where's he from? <laughs> <laughs> is that yeah, is that West Home Coast West, West Coast or East Coast? <laughs> I think this is Midwest. <laughs> yeah. I feel like it. Can you look up at T's Toes Zolo and get some context? I'm pretty sure it's a rapper. This is not a bit, really? Oh no. No, I think he's Are around. his raps hard as nails? <laughs> <laughs> is that his thing? I I'm mean, just... nails around your face, it's not a smart it's decision. Is... You could poke your eyes out. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's a that's, tough, that's a tough shower. That's a different one. Yeah. What's it like to wash your hair? Uh, TikTok. Um, you got it right. Tease o toes. Oh. T e e z o t o e z. T o e z. Z and TikTok. Yeah. Okay. It's like you didn't even know like that. Discover tease o toes. Fifty nine point eight million. What? Views. Mm -hmm. Damn, dude. That can't be it, right? It could be it. It is it. Yeah. Hey, you guys got like eight billion nails I can borrow? Because this <laughs> guy's making on, it. So he's got them on all the time? Oh my God. <laughs> Nail origin part one. How about that video? You see that in the second row? Second row, second to the right. That's oh, heavy his, metal yeah. only. That's a good slant. That's a good. I know you caused some damage. I know you cut yourself by accident. It's, it, it makes you appreciate it. You see everything in detail. So I just started looking around my crib, around my dad's crib, seeing like tools and nails and stuff. So first I put nails in our boots. 
Then we start putting. Talk about the first what? time you put in this hair because I know you called. And if me. you scroll down back in that last page, is it all like he's always got him on? Yeah. But does he do anything? Like, does he do? Is there music? I think he raps. Yeah. I mean, we we think he does, but we haven't. Ten weeks, okay. ten days. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's not All right, good. what's up, Tizo? He raps about how tired he is. He, <laughs> yeah. he can't go to fucking sleep. <laughs> that's fucking incredible. His neck. Jesus Christ. Yeah, how man. does he sleep? We're right. He can't that's, take all the... Is it a wig? I don't know. It's got to be, because how does it he take It seems like a real show? commitment. Yeah. So a lot of people oh have God. asked to see videos of Betty feeding, and this is an example of that. Up towards the top where that little pink <laughs> bow is, that is her head. And what they do is they create a suction on the person's skin, and then they inject the herudin, which is the anticoagulant that they have, along with some numbing agents in their saliva that help you not feel the rest of the feeding process. And they'll be on there anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour. <laughs> yeah. As they start to get full, they will yeah. make this really strange movement with their body that you can see in the video, where they kind of contort back and forth. And it's kind of like a digestive dance. And they usually do it um, oh. right towards the end when they're preparing to detach. Um, but yeah, and then when they're done, they just sort of drop off. <laughs> so this is a whole leech vibe I found where people have pet leeches. That's how they used to cure shit, right? Yeah, they, but it didn't really work. Yeah. They I didn't cure anything. I, they just I want you to know how much you. I didn't like that video. Um, and anyway, she's got a friend and the two of them will like show yeah. you how they feed their leeches. and stuff. All right. It's pretty cool. Yes, I said. That's a New York subway. <laughs> Wild. He went to the Boiling Crab. You know that place? Looks like it's super good. Oh man, it's so messy. It's oh my god. <laughs> eating crab on the subway. <laughs> Your hands get so filthy. On the subway, bro. These, these fucking Chinese apps, man. <laughs> it's crazy. I didn't know this. I don't. I don't have TikTok. I didn't know this shit was going on. Jesus Christ! Um, but don't you hate? I kind of hate the boiling crab for their presentation. Like, here's a bag, a bag of like barf, and we're gonna throw it on newspaper. I'm not a dog. I don't. Like he, it. Why can't you put this shit on plates, dude? He's no. eating out of just a garbage bag like it's the dog. Terrible. It's disgusting. Yeah. Gross. Gross. <laughs> this is also New York City. <laughs> That's tight. So this is an account where this guy just finds lunatics in New York. <laughs> Just that guy. I can get behind though. This is cool as fuck. <laughs> just a guy in New York City. He was washing his ass before. Yeah. <laughs> Will a city worker come and grab you out of there? Doesn't look like it. I Does mean, it look like yeah. it's New I think York. in New York they're like just a little. Okay. Let it finish. I don't even. I don't know because it seems like L.A. and New York is sim similar in that the police yeah, that shit don't do not, much that these should days. Not, that shit would not fly in Tennessee. <laughs> no way, right? No way. Here. Somebody would fuck like yeah. yeah. Thank you. Right the fuck out. Yeah. Yeah. Our 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 our, uh, our founds are not for washing your balls. No. Hey folks, don't scroll. <laughs> I've been off here for a while. I made a mistake and drank some battery acid that um, one of my workers <laughs> put in a water jug. <gasps> Didn't do much good for my mouth. Anyway, <sighs> I thought I'd pop on here, say hello. And talk to you later. Hey. He drank battery acid on mistake. Can I tell you something? Is, yes. that, is that what they tell you what to do if you drink battery acid? <laughs> Get on TikTok yeah. and make a video. I like that he started with don't scroll. <laughs> don't scroll. <laughs> we, ain't, we ain't going to. Stay right here. I accidentally drank a bottle of pool water that my kids had refilled. Yeah, like we had this funny. by the, the pool funny. the other day and yeah. they, they refilled it with pool water. That was great. And I opened it and took a swig. I was like, no. Like, what the fuck so is this? I could see how that could happen yeah. if some idiot puts battery acid in it. And a, then puts it what? Like in the fridge? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I was drinking stray water. We yeah. talk about this on where my mom's at that I'll just drink any water that that's is left out. Horrific ever. what happened to this guy. Yeah. I, I'm going to stop doing that. I like, do you think he looked like Brad Pitt before? Probably. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> This is I'll bet he looks exactly the fucking same. <laughs> oh my! How cool God. is that? That's pretty cool. That is really yeah. <laughs> how strong they are is unbelievable. Isn't that amazing? Yes. It's like a full size <laughs> antelope. Antelope. Yeah, just carrying up a tree with his mouth. It's so rad. What is that? A cheetah? Is that what that is? That's a leopard. A leopard. Yeah. I'm fucking into it. Can Man. we get a leopard? Yeah, just they're to have easy it? to have around in the backyard. Yeah. 
And they we, would not kill Bitsy for sure. <laughs> but here's a good thing. I'll bet Scary. Danny Brown's got a leopard. I bet he could get one. <laughs> but Tommy, just hear me out. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it's just a security. Like, at night, we could just let the leopard patrol mm -hmm. the backyard. And we'll be like, we're your friend. Don't hurt us. But during the day, we keep it, like, in a cage. But at night, it this just is a great patrols. Plan. Yeah, this is a great plan. <laughs> I do love this. Yeah, this will work out for sure. That's her pet monkey. This is basically having two small sons. Uh, yeah, except that one could probably rip your fucking eyelids off if it wants to. I know. But isn't this exactly what it's like having yeah. a three and a six year old just, boy? It's like, God damn it. Like, stop touching me. They're like, we want to hurt you. <laughs> stop hurting me. Stop You're hurting kid me. into physical torture to you? Um, not like that. Not in, not in fucking uh, Wuhan. <laughs> Is that, I mean, is, 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 was this, is this patient zero here? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, little shit. And this, isn't this how it started? Yeah, pr pretty much, yeah. <laughs> Someone just playing around with one. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> whoa, 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 that was a video? That was a video, yeah. That's Why entertainment? Tell, tell our listeners what... What they just missed. Uh, it's a really cool guy. He's a, he's a gentleman wearing just some cool gold shades. And then he just licked his lips over and over and over. Let you know that he's down. Yeah. This Very is part cool. of my horny Thursday compilation. So Thursday night, TikTok gets turned fucking up. Is and, that what happened? Oh, uh, dude. It starts on Thursday and then ends on Sunday like clockwork. Dudes get so fucking horny and ladies. And they get drunk alone and make the horniest talks. It's do you the think, best. Do you think he gets action from this? Fuck. Yeah, somebody. Yeah. Somebody's into that. Yeah, somebody's like, oh my God, you're, I love your lips. You're so hot. And then he Oof. gives them a lot of attention. Somebody's got, got like a fetish for like unattractive dudes who <laughs> lick the lips. Yeah. It is crazy that only dudes, like, well, not only, because you saw, I've seen some chicks, crazy chicks. chicks do crazy yeah. shit. Yeah. This could have been what, horny Thursday or horny Saturday? This is, this is turned up. So this could be like Friday night. Friday like, night. When he's been drinking since turned. five. Yeah. And he's like, I'm ready. Or it could be at his job because. He looks like he's in a corporate in like a lit environment. Yeah. This doesn't look like his house. You know what I mean? So I don't know. He could be waiting to get off work. And then that was his thing. Very cool. It's cool that he's got a job where he's allowed to lick his lips. <laughs> that is very cool. They're like, you're doing your job. You're fine. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you're doing your job. You're doing good. Shit. Uh, Wheeler, any um, upcoming dates anywhere people can see you live or? Yeah, I got. I don't want. <coughs> I hate naming dates, but it's all on my website. Okay, we're touring right now. Like I said, sold out the Ryman, playing big shows. <sighs> finally, playing theaters. Moved, That's rad. Moved it's up amazing. a notch. Good for you. You know, I don't want to brag, but we're making the kind of money where I can come home, I can pay for the bus, and I can. We're at break even. I don't want to brag, but yeah. I come home with nothing. Finally. Yeah. Finally. Yeah, instead fine. of instead of instead of negative. <laughs> yeah. That's a big, that is one of yeah, the it's, tears. It's cool, it's cool to like be playing, see the whole crowd singing along. You're like, oh shit, it's, you, bre it's break even money. You know, you know uh, people say there's levels to this shit and one of those levels is break even. So oh man, I never cool. thought I'd get to break even. Yeah. But it's cool, it's cool. It's like, I don't know how they fucking, these fuck, fuckers figure it out. But they're like, yeah, you sold 2,000 tickets. Break even. I'm like, what? Yeah. Can I see the, can I see the numbers on that? No, you don't. You're on. Yeah, yeah. Well, we're just so thrilled to be a part of your ascent. I well, mean, thank you've you been so with much. us since the beginning. Well, I definitely got to tell you the big news. We set, we set the uh, alcohol record at the Ryman. You did? Wow. Yeah. Wow. I don't know who keeps those records, but they called and told us. It's we amazing. We broke the record. We broke the record. Most beer at the Ryman. That's got to been some crazy nights. In the that has to be, a, like, you should ask for the details on that. Yeah, I want to know. It's got to be insane. Yeah. If you set the record there at the at the Well, someone, Ryman? a buddy of mine who was out there said it was just a continuous, they, they didn't have to turn the tap off. Yeah. It was just on the whole time. It's amazing. I mean, if I was at your show, I'd be fucking drinking beers too. Yeah. What else yeah. are you going to do? Yeah. Getting ripped. Um, the new album, Sex, Drugs, and Country Music. You can uh, listen to it anywhere that you can stream and listen to it. Yeah. Uh, stream it, music. buy I don't care how you listen to yeah. it. Just listen to it. Just listen to it. Fucking, Tell your friends. Do what I did. Steal it off the internet. Share. Uh, send those. Send the music videos to your hey, friends. Can, can you text uh, uh, old uh, BP about it? Yeah. Fuck sure. yeah. And you'll let Natasha Leone know about it? Yep. Cool. Anyway, really nice. Can we can we let the guy who the the Irishman the farting Irishman know about it? Too? <laughs> yeah, we'll definitely let him know. 
Um, as always, thank you for coming in, man. It's my thank pleasure. You. I love what you guys built here. I love that you guys are in Texas. I love you guys, period. I love everyone. It was so nice to me, except Nadav, yeah, he, yeah, who fucking big time me. Yeah. But other than that, it was really cool to be here. Um, well, you heard it. Uh, check out check out all his stuff. I mean, there's there's four albums. They're all fucking killer. Um, there's great music videos, and um, yeah, it's always a pleasure to see you. And we'll see you guys next time. Hi, mommy. See you guys. So if this is truly a conversation, then I say let the conversation begin. <laughs> like that full episode of your mom's house are your jeans as high and tight as they can be i doubt it watch some more clips dude look at that one watch that one right here or maybe here maybe here maybe (laughs) Maybe you should subscribe that way every time a new video gets posted you'll be notified stay in the know jeans subscribe now